to the window, to the wall. Do you remember years and years ago no. when Podbean lost all our podcasts? No. Do you remember? Do you not remember that? No. They lost. They had a massive yeah. server problem, and they lost a whole server, and we lost about. I think that's just what they said. Shows. No, no, I had to re-upload every show that up to the point where they'd lost them. They sold our shows. They just told they you lost, that they lost. They lost a shit ton of shows. They sold them. Sold them to. They just hate us. us. Yeah. It's a long time ago. You're talking. I think we were still not long after the O three fives days when that happened. Uh, I think that's when they showed them to China. Showed them to China. Showed them to China. All right, we are on the YouTube now. We're on the yeah. tubes. Are we on the tubes, people? Yeah. Going down the tubes fast. Run, like. them, run them jewels fast. Yeah, we're on. Are we ready to start? Hi, Should I Tyrone. begin? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Fastest Let's start, start to the, the show ever. Show, bitch. Here we go, people. Let's do this. Another reference by dude that no one understands. Welcome, yo, to the veteran gamers. Juju, Jimmy, out of bed. Time the veterans. The game that we play this week. News, reviews, and an indie film. Two words, two words. Two words. Jimmy's game breakers. Here comes Duke with the soundbite saviors. I'm not going to get interrupted by a stupid sound effects. It's the veteran gamers. Your lips look like this be big on the face. It's the veteran gamers. You gotta be that big diamond in the rough. But the only way to become that diamond is by that dedication, so practice, and doing the shit that red. other people are too lazy to do. Hello, darlings. Hello, darlings, indeed. Hello, and welcome to episode 744 of the Veteran Gamers Podcast. Yeah, 734, baby! I'm Duke! I'm Stu! Yeah. And Chinny is back, baby! He's Ain't dead. no Ben here he's this dead. week! We are not died. military veterans, people. We're veterans of the gaming lifestyle. So put that in your crack pipe and smoke it. Oh, didn't you hear me? I'm Chinny. No, we didn't, didn't yeah. hear a thing. And I'm Chinny. <laughs> Chinny, professional. You never know if you're having plays. actual problems or he's if back. you're goofing with us. My Jesus mic God. was muted. What are uh, you, Mike? Okay, honestly. well, now it's not. Now it's not. Now it's not. That's suspicious. Yeah, it is. Kenny, you were gone for a week. How was Shakespeare's baby home? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that was good. That was Tara's birthday that we went to. Uh -huh. Strapped it upon Avon. Yeah, uh, you did. Yeah, it was, you know, it's still there, isn't it? Shakespeare's house. I'm yeah. doubtful. Is it still there? I'm, I'm doubtful whether there? that's actually Shakespeare's house. Do of you know what I mean? it's Shakespeare's No, house? I just think it's just a bloody Why old house. Done? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Well, they were like, we don't know exactly where he lives, so let's just say this, this was let's his Let's just house. say this this house, can... which is really old, we'll just keep this one and say this can one. Can we just it. say You know, this, this Pez dispenser once belonged to Toni Morrison, wow. the greatest writer in American history. She owned this Pez dispenser. The, can we just say, this is akin to me saying we didn't land on the moon, or the Americans didn't no, land on the moon. No, I don't think so. I, I, he didn't say historical... we didn't. It's, he didn't say it's not Shakespeare's house. He said he's skeptical They've got historical records proving that he lived yeah, there. Yeah, come on. I'm just saying, when I, I mean, went... I believe it is his house. It when I went to um, Ver Verona, when I went to Verona, yeah. and yeah. they were like, yeah. this balcony is the balcony that Shakespeare wrote about, and the balcony that Juliet um looked at well, he stole like, romeo and juliet from some italian story i was like so. was it though was this the balcony <laughs> don't think so i think oh, it's a statues. balcony a statues there what's the matter with you rub a boob you get a good look what's up with you yeah i did rub that boob everyone rubs that boob yeah. i mean that boob is the shiniest boob in the world just say yeah so it's a very yeah, we, shiny boob. yeah went to stratford stopped in a hotel with the bab for the first time that was fine everything was fine that's good. Did you, have you got what? a travel cot? Have you got one of those? We do. We do. They're fun. But it's a bit like putting up a tent, isn't it? Putting one of those up. This one's really awkward to put up. I, I, They're you know. all awkward to put up. Yeah, it's, you've really got to, like, judge it. You know, you really got to yeah. give it some... Ugh. You've got to, um, like, ugh, get it into position. Uh, it's like a tent. It's literally like camping when you go with your baby. And you've got that much stuff. stuff. How much stuff do you have to take yeah. just to go away for a couple of days? It's like... Oh, that's right. Getting, it's unbelievable the amount of stuff you've got. Blow up bath. Yes, it's unbelievable. Blow yes. Up bath. Uh, it, oh. Meanwhile, and things that people care about. I forgot. You should have gone in wow. like two weeks, dude, because 420 is Shakespeare's birthday. Fuck that. 
Yeah. I mean, just a minute. You're just <laughs> interrupting our be... cute stories about Rosa just so you could make a uh, Was that a story? I thought it was just you listing stuff you have to take when you go I on holiday talking with the baby. About taking his cute baby Rosa um, away. And all sorry, the please hassle. continue. Tell your story, wow, Stuart. So serious. the rest of the story is the end. Yeah. By the way, I was <laughs> Manchester. I was Manchester. You have fun. Oh, we, well, we go to Stockport. It's not really Manchester. It's Stockport. Well, so. it kind of is. Ooh, Stockport it's a, is the Riviera. It's a of, Manchester. Of, yeah. of Manchester. Um. Yeah. Fine. Just, just babies everywhere. Isn't it? Just. I was like, my favourite person. Sim. How is he? He's good. Yeah. I mean, he's he's father of two now. Uh, I know you said. Yeah, no, it's all nice. fine. You know, just it's just. Yeah, we're all, we're we all get tired about six o'clock and we're like, right, we're done. Whereas like usually a family gathering before babies was, let's stay up till three a.m. Of course, if not, like, later, if not 6 later, if not six p.m. We're done. Bye. Balling. We never want to see each other again for another two months. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. And now it's like, oh, I think it's time. I need to go to bed. Mm. So tired. I'm so mm. tired. Mm. I'm up all night. Mm. Oh, babies. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, you got a story man. time. Uh, yes, by the way, I've got a story time. My favorite time, it's story time. Story, story, story time. Go ahead, Stu, let me hear you shoot. Let me hear you shoot. Holiday, yeah, I'm on holidays this week, people. Just saying, it's not really a story, it's just I'm on holiday this week. Yeah, no work <laughs> for me for uh, about seven days, and I'm going yeah. to. Be Beautiful city of York. So oh, yeah, okay. York's a nice tomorrow. place. Like, off to York tomorrow, yeah. mm, old tomorrow. York. Better than oh, New York? Yeah, but... yeah. Grand old Duke. Yeah. He lives there, apparently. That's you, okay. that is. Grand old Duke. Hey, here we go. You're here this. for the first time from the Duke himself. Indeed. Yeah. Duke of York. Yeah. So, That's yeah. from The Scoop, the new Netflix movie about uh, uh, BBC yeah. Newsnight about, interviewing about, Prince Andrew. It's a good about movie. About the nonce. Uh, to yeah. be fair, you know, it's had a bit of criticism because everyone was just saying, just watch the original interview. Why are you watching Well, it? that's the thing the is that, it. right. I mean, it's fair. It's like, I'm same. curious to watch it's the, the original interview now. Thing. It's not, though. It's the story about how the interview came to be, well, isn't it? you're right, because one of them is real. <laughs> one of them is the actual what? real yeah. interview. No, I, to me, to, yeah, I, I sort of so, get so, you, so would you say that the movie Spotlight is pointless because you should just read the articles and then Boston? No, I, I get Stu's Definitely. point because I just went through the Titanic Museum instead of watching Titanic. <laughs> okay, watching that. In fact, what you need to do you, is uh, get get that submarine down to the Titanic because that's a good idea. Yeah, okay. that's a great idea. I read newspaper right. clippings about Chernobyl instead of watching the show yeah. Chernobyl. Just go just to Chernobyl, especially yeah, just, now. Just it's a really nice yourself. place just, to go just, now. Just play it. Just so, go. So is that your theory then, Stu? And anytime anything is based on fact, you're like, fuck this. I ain't watching the dramatization of it. I'm just going to read the, the, no, the, the facts. I think, no, no. This, no, is, this no, is what no, I would say, no. Mr. Chin. <laughs> the difference between Chernobbil <laughs> and Spotlight is... <laughs> The, the difference between Chernobyl well, and Prince hating Andrew. On, on the no, scoop, listen. not spotlight. You know, you're hitting on scoop. scoop. Stay whatever. focused. Go on. Scoop, whatever. Right. <laughs> the difference is, difference is, there were no cameras at Chernobyl when that was melting down. So we yeah. haven't actually got historical... Yeah, but there's no record. cameras yeah, on the dude, behind dude, the just, scenes. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Sort of thing. Dude, yeah, right. Just, dude, do you think that the movie is just the interview? Like, that's all they're showing? <laughs> well, like, let's just recreate the interview and that's I it. Yes. <laughs> No, it's the, okay, I, got I, I was able to convince you about the nature of a movie let's, that came out. I've, I've, I've seen a clip of the t- No, but I've, I've seen a clip on TikTok where it's like how the, 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 the paparazzi guy got the photo of Epstein yeah. and, and the nonce, you know? So, yeah. like, it's inter- it's a drama. Like, I guess. I mean, it's not the greatest movie ever. I, if you wanted to know my opinion, which obviously it's I'm not, not back saying to the anybody future. does, but... <laughs> It's a good movie. Look, it's good for the performances. Gillian Anderson is like a great actor. And so to see her be Emily, what's her name? That was it was good. And to yeah. see the way the story evolved. It's not amazing. It's not nearly as good as Spotlight, but it's interesting enough. It's worth it. Yeah, a watch, now you're you know? talking Gillian Anderson's in it. I'm sold. Yeah. So well, do, she, you, if you want to see her in a movie, go find Hell Cab. She's got like a two minute cameo in that movie. Everyone's got just very short roles, but she's great in it. So I'm confused. Are you, are you in for it? Only in two minutes. Are you in for it or not? I don't know. Like... Things that... Who me? Yeah. Uh, no. Because you hated like it, it, and now you no, went. I what? love Gillian Anderson. So. <laughs> well, you know, when I was when I was younger, and I used to watch the X Files, Gillian Anderson is hot. Just saying. I tell you still what. Is. Gillian she's Anderson. Hot. She's also a good actor, but you know that's much less important than the Gillian, fact that Gillian she's hot, Anderson. Obviously. No, it is. It is. She. She's she is aging in reverse that woman i don't know she what is, is wrong with her. Woman. she looks she very different in this movie i mean part of that is makeup i'm sure but... yeah 
she, no, I, she I remember, I remember like recently scenes like that's the woman from X Files. She must yeah. be in her fifties yeah, no, right? by now. She's beautiful. <laughs> Jesus she is a good looking woman. There's a Helen Mirren yeah. thing going on. Yeah, yeah, Helen um, Mirren, another good looking woman. Yeah. But she, uh, the 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 best thing about Gillian Anderson in the X, well, one of the best things is that uh, she inspired the Scully effect, where a lot of girls went into STEM because of her. So those fictional characters, man, that has an impact. Representation matters. Yeah. Billy Piper, yeah. she's she's yeah. she's fun. Mm. Now nah, I'm not I'm not I don't know whether I'm quite as in with that. To be I fair. try, listeners. Now we're just going to yeah, talk Billie about Piper, hot women in Hollywood. She's, look, no doubt. No, she looks STEM. But, oh, okay. Well, no, she doesn't. Movie. She doesn't. She doesn't. Okay. She she was in a picture of her recently at some premiere for something, and she had hot pants and tights on, and she What's just with that. By, it was a bit mutton dressed as lamb, if I'm being totally Don't honest. be so mean to old. Billy Piper. She's lovely. She looked, well, she's the one she in Scoop. She's the one who plays the other one in Scoop. Yeah, right? but she looked. Oh, she's, that's she's what it good. was for. But she looked too old okay. to be wearing so that. So, Billy, you know, Billy like, wow, Stu, like, Billy, damn. Billy yeah, Piper, just, to, just, just for you, uh, the you. Americans, Billy Piper was, look, she started yes. off as a very, very young pop singer. She, when she was 16, she oh, was Britney like big, Spears, gotcha. Okay. Sort of like that, but like a sort of British British one. Britney Spears. Yeah, yeah. and she was yeah. very, I remember her being like really young and it was a bit mm, inappropriate. And then she <laughs> married Chris Evans, she of did. all people. Yeah, not, the, not Captain hey, America. Chris Evans is cool. Not Captain not America. That, not that Chris oh, Evans. a different Chris Evans. A ginger yeah. one. A ginger, a ginger, one. ginger you'll, you, yeah. yeah, totally different. Yeah, yeah. And Just he was about twice game. her age, wasn't he? Yeah. Was oh, he looks well. very different from the other Chris Evans. <laughs> he, presenter he Chris Evans. Yeah, he yeah. definitely yeah. looks a lot better. Be fair play to Chris. Like, uh, fair play to Chris. of the Dead guy if he was less cool. Yeah, yeah exactly. He was definitely punching, shall we say. Anyway, fuck all this. <laughs> no, celebrity gossip. That's yeah, why, why we're not? here, Jenny. What else do you want to yeah, talk about? Exactly. Christ. Video so, games. So, dude, does anybody else have an actual Hollywood? story? <laughs> Stu said he had a story, and then it was the story was I'm on holiday. Yeah, like, I'm on holiday. I'm yeah. That's the story. Go. God damn, what a story. Um, I'm trying to think if I have actually got a story. We got baby goats. Uh, we're doing Grendel in AP Lang. What? What? I'm loving that book. And uh, we went to brunch this morning. Brunch. That was fun. Mm. It's raining. In Wisconsin. All right, I think we need to talk about video games. Chinny, do you got anything? Nah. <laughs> okay, let's just talk about Where video games. Where are you games. going? Story time's over. What are you playing? Who wants to start? Wow, is that it? I was having a drink then because I thought that the whole jingle was about to play. You didn't have that... to start speaking the second the sound what? ended. What the hell is happening? <laughs> You're having a drink. Have a drink. I know. I'm having a drink. I get bollocks if I let the song play too much. I get bollocks if I cut it off Did, too short. Am I bollocks? It's almost like I can't win. I'm no, not, I didn't not. say you were bollocksing me. I said I'm getting bollocks. I'm not. I'm not. Well, it's bollocking, yeah. actually. It's not yeah, bollocks. it's bollocking or bollocks. Right, I'm getting a bollock. Way. See, I get bollocks if I don't no, say bollocks. the right well, thing. Well, stop right. talking bollocks. bollocks then. Yeah, it's talk bollocks. <laughs> never. You get I will bollocks. never stop talking bollocks. I can't believe an English teacher yeah. doesn't know the right way to say a word. Who knew? Well, which side of the pond am I on, Stuart? The Do wrong I know these phrases? Side. No. I'm just making. And besides, it's creative side. license. I can say I'm getting bollocksed. Yeah. I can say that if I want to no, say that. Bollocks. It may not be the You're expression. Well, according to whom? I'm having a brain aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> That's not I a story not. time. Yeah, that isn't. That's all like right, if no one's going to talk, then I'll talk. Time. Fuck all y'all. Yeah. All right, listen, here's the thing about Rocket League. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I actually Rocket have something League, to say yeah. about Rocket League. No, oh, you God. You can't. Oh, God. You can't. No, I can. Because, listen, I'm going to talk to you about something, There's nothing Chini. new. What is Go on, let him do it. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Chinny. I'll let him do it. Because Stu can't relate, see? I should have talked about this more to Ben last week because he could relate. But I want to know, Chinny, is there, I said last week that Rocket League is a game of will, right? It's about the will to rank. Is there a rank in snooker? Um, I suppose in in the league that I'm playing in, there is a handicap, and the lower the so you num- have a handicap. The, the lower the number, the the right. better. The rank. But the rank, but yeah. so what is but, your handicap? Mine is I have a problem with the guy that dishes out the handicap because it's oh. not it's as soon not as we start talking about rank and handicap. It's not, it's the, not, the, my yeah, handicap's it's, not actually. I, I, I would be happy if it was some sort of algorithm that somebody worked out. Yes. Right. right. But it is it's a, just a guy deciding it's what this it is. fucking twat, right? <laughs> I got you. Right. And I because you. I would say averages are better. Stu, you you know snooker a little bit. Averages I know snooker. averages over a season, so nine yeah. months. So how many you win over nine months is a better way to 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 judge someone's performance than a one-off break, correct? Well, you've proven have, my I, point. I would have said it's so. It's bullshit. Anyway, don't get me started on Mark, because <laughs> Mark's a twat. 
So here's what's the thing. What's my your point handicap? that you've, you've proven. No, 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 just just that's true. You, you haven't said. What is it? My, my is handicap six. is. Let's just say it's six. He's twenty-eight. So like my problem. Okay, my, my issue is that he knocked it down. Right. Sorry, Dig. You said it now. It's right? okay. You're, every word you say is proving my, my point. My issue, more, so please keep right, going. is that he knocked it. Used to be thirty-two. It goes up in fours. It used to be thirty-two. He knocked it down into the twenties. Twenties is when, if you're in the twenties, it's pretty good, right? Because yeah, some people right. are in the forties and fifties and sixties, right? So, and I, I said, why? Why is my fucking handicap in twenty-eight? He says, well, you got the highest break in the division four last year. I was like, that's just me playing well once. Your yeah, average, yeah. and I worked out, your average was 67. The other bloke that he plays on his team was 71% uh, average. You both play better than me, and your handicap hasn't changed. And I, 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 I got very pissed off about it. You see, but what's interesting so, so, is, what's interesting, Duke, is that means he's higher ranked, but he doesn't want to be. Correct. Right. Because, well, because, well, because, handicap because, because in the, in the, he's a in, smurf. In, in the individual tournaments, well, this is what they're doing. Yes. So in the individual tournaments, your handicap is basically how many points you start with. So right. it carry it, it, it holds a lot of weight. It makes and your life more difficult because we're, we're in a, end up... we're we're in a semi final uh, cup on Tuesday. Semi final, Stu. Professional. That's we get we get refs turning up. We have to wear shirts and shoes oh and my shit. God. Right, and. Because I'm on 28, I only get like a 28 star. If I was 32, I'll get four more points. That's a lot of points. It's a foul. It is. Four yes. points can be the I, difference I between winning and losing. You know? So, yeah. Yes. So, I'm, I'm a bit... So, just... Anyway, go on. Sorry. Sure. So, my <laughs> point, <laughs> however, that Mark. I was trying to prove, which you prove very Mark. well. Thank you, by the Twat. way. I couldn't have said it better myself. Mark. <laughs> Fucking Mark. My point is, rank matters. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. See, I don't know the Stu can relate because he doesn't do anything competitive. Oh, yeah. He doesn't have a rank. No, but I, you know, I, I, I mean, realize. Correct me if I'm wrong, Stu. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? I used to correct play me if a, I'm wrong. What? I used to play in a squash league. Oh. Great. What was your place, rank in the squash league? Uh, I was in League 10, which was oh, okay, sort of, cool. out of out of 25 leagues. So okay. I was sort okay. Of okay. So you can relate. League. I apologize. League. You can, you can relate to the notion of rank being important then. But also like okay. Call of Duty so, prestige and stuff. That was a sort of yeah. Thing, wasn't oh, it? that nobody gives a shit about that. Tell me anytime right. you ever okay. looked at anyone's rank well, in Rollo, Call in, of Duty. In Halo, like, in Halo Three, you, your rank used to go up and down. It was a true rank. Okay, fine. So that was that's sure. more like what it's all about. I'll take your word for it. The yeah. point is this. I realized that because normally my attitude is like rank is a decoration. I play to have fun. I was playing with someone today and they were like, holy shit, you got 1600 wins. What is wrong with you? And I'm like, I play the game a lot because it's fun. And then sometimes people will be like, how have you got so many hours and you still this rank? You suck. And I'm like, whatever, dude, I play to have fun. Rank's just a decoration. But I've come to understand that if my rank drops too low, it's, it's genuinely frustrating. And like, I have to find this middle balance between you know recognizing that it's just a decoration mostly it doesn't really matter and admitting the fact that i do care about my rank and i don't want it to tank and so when i make mistakes i get mad at myself when my teammate messes up i had this game this person i was like i was on the headset because i just turned the headset on by default most people had their headsets off but i had my headset on this person had their headset on it tells you like you have joined the team chat and the other person has too so i know okay we're both on the headset let me and i and, and as, as i said you know, hey, are you there? Can you hear me? They, the other team scored a goal. And I was like, because he missed. And I was like, all right, no worries. Don't worry about it. Let's just communicate and rotate and we can win this. And apparently when I said that, he heard, you fuck, you missed, you suck. And so he said, oh, you're going to talk shit? Fine, I quit. And he just stopped playing. And I nice. was like, what is wrong with these angry children? And all I said was, let's rotate and communicate and win this game. And he took I it feel, as, I feel mm, like he, he maybe took it that you were patronizing him, maybe. I guess, but I, what did I say that was patronizing? I, well, that's what I say to everybody. Let's communicate and rotate and win this. What What's you should have done was go, let's do this. That's what you should have done. Yeah, I guess said I need to talk more like a bro. Well, you yeah, should have said it was, let's go. Yeah, let's just yeah, go and do so. this. Let's, let's no, go. that's the boomer version of it. Let's just yeah. go and do this. <laughs> let's go and do this. Dude, That's what the kids we say. have a who's done it on our hands. No, we have a who has done this. Who has done this now? <laughs> yeah. How inconvenient. Yeah. Anyway, so that's one story is like, or one recognition that I've had is wow. that like, it's a game of will to rank. Like I want to have a rank that matches it. I want a rank that matches my skill. You know what I mean? And if I don't have a rank. You do. Like if I'm, well, oh, sort of. You have you a do. handicap that matches your skill, right, Jenny? Yeah, that, no, but that isn't worked by an algorithm, is it? That's worked out this by is, some twat called This is definitely Mark. by an algorithm. 
Yeah, but on the other hand, my teammates can tank my rank, can't? In the Correct. same way that this person can uh, have yeah, a rank I on guess, your rank. Yeah, I guess. They okay, that's all I'm saying. And it's very frustrating when I'm playing okay. I mean, look, again, as always, I'm the first to admit that I make a lot of mistakes, okay? I'm not saying I should be champ or grand champ, but I'm saying, like, my level of play. When I play, well, here's the thing, and here's how I know. When I play casual, there are people who have this mod installed that can see your MMR, whatever the fuck that is, right? It's some sort of, that's the actual algorithm for rank. Yeah, your MMR. Right. And yeah, there are people who have... Uh, Chinny, that's mumps, measles, and rubella, apparently. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. There. <laughs> or some, I don't know, maybe I had the acronym wrong. I don't know. Anyway, there's this thing that some people have, and they see on their screen. That's how the dude knew I had 16,000 wins or whatever. So I was, so he had, so he was like, wow are you champ and i was like no i'm plat three right now he's like dude you're playing really well in this because apparently in the casual lobbies it's only based on that number whereas in the ranked lobbies you know competitive lobbies you have an actual rank and it goes up or down after every match mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so it, it's a longitudinal thing for the casual lobbies and it's a season by season you know game by game rank in the competitive lobbies so the only reason i mention it is because you know, in the casual lobbies, I, I feel like my skill level is around diamond. And that's all I want to be is just diamond. Once I'm at diamond, I'm I'm cool. I'm like, okay, I'm where I should be. But when I'm stuck in plat, I'm like, I don't to be here. Such, oh, a, God. such a plat bitch. You anyway, see, this is, this is I'll, right, I'll compare it. This is what it was like when okay. I used to Compare it to your squash, squash life. This yes. is what okay, I play yeah. squash, right? Yes. yes. So I used to hover around. You see a bug league, and you went. League 10 or 11. And this is what used to happen, yes. right? I okay. used to beat the same players and I used to lose again against the same players and I never used to go up or down really. I <laughs> should just sure. stay you where had, I You found your spot. You found your lane. That was it. That was about as good as I got. Yeah. So so about sure. midway down the leagues was about as high yeah. as I got. But I wasn't bothered because yeah. I used to just play for fun. But I, I must admit, it used to become a little bit soul destroying when you got beaten by the same people every time you play but them, see you know? that's the thing I guess, I guess i don't mind that so much it's like if you had dropped to would you say at a 20 or 25 if you had dropped yeah to there 15, were 25 leagues there were 25 leagues all if together. you had dropped to 15 then you'd be frustrated that's where i feel i'm at it's like i'm not where i should be and i'm just like i'm trying to get there i'm like no oh, come on so whatever end of the day it's about having fun but here's the other story i'll tell about rocket league this week so Attention, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I have to warn you, there's something loud coming. Oh, man, I deleted the long version of it. Whatever. As they said on The Simpsons. Oh, no. Guard your ears. Guard your ears with Gorman's ear guards. Uh, I was playing with this guy, and I had my mic on, and he was in the he, – he could hear me, but he didn't have his mic on, right? Okay. okay. We're, play, we're playing the game. And I'm communicating constantly. I'm like, I'm going back to get boost. Like I'm centering the ball. Like, hey, let's just make sure we don't double commit, you know, whatever. Oh, good block, good shot, you know, all that stuff. We get to, we, we tie it up. We go into overtime, right? And I center the ball so that he can score. He misses the shot. And I say, oh, close one. The other team scored, they win. And I said into the mic, you know, hey, good game, dude. Thanks for playing with me. He unmutes himself. I'm gonna drop my mic a little bit. He goes, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. You fucking suck, you fucking piece of shit. Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck. Wow, that that is taking it a bit too And far. I was like, what the, f I couldn't, I tried to say like, dude, are you okay? Like I, you're about to have a brain aneurysm and he just wouldn't stop. He just over and over, shut the fuck, shut the fuck up, shut the and I was like, these people must have what? mental issues. Come on, I'm that's not normal no. behavior. Every, every day, every day, there's some version of that in this game. And okay, the smart person would say, the risk of having to deal with someone like that is so great, I just shouldn't play it. But it's such a fun game, and I'm not. Why should I stop playing a fun game? Because this. Yeah, but this why does he? Everything. What? What I want. Well, what I want to know is this, right? Is that how he acts in normal life? At his job, exactly. for instance, if something doesn't exactly. go his way, right. does he say to his Amen. boss? Shut the fuck up Preach. in his face over right. and over and over again. Yes. No, no, I'm he sorry, probably sir. doesn't. The, sir, sir, the McFlurry machine is broken. We can't get you a McFlurry today. Oh, motherfucking piece of yeah. shit! Why, like, why if they don't so do that in the real life? Well, well, he may do it in his real life. For he might do it in the real life. But, but it's he because, doesn't. Here's the thing. Why do you think that's right. okay to do in a game? It's just I'll a I, again, I have I have thoughts. I don't know for sure. Nobody can know for sure. We can't know. But my thought is, because I see that rage building in me when I play this game. And I think it's, first of all, attaching to rank, 
getting fixated on how important rank is and being mad when you lose because it means your rank drops. If people lose in a casual lobby, generally speaking, they're like, whatever. Right. And so when you lose, especially in a ranked game, I think a lot of people start thinking about why their team lost. And a lot of times it's okay. You can either get mad at yourself for the mistakes you've made, or you can get mad at the other person. And if the other person is talking a lot in the headset and you'd rather they didn't talk quite so much, then it can easily turn into shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, dude, right? I will be honest. I think if I was that sort of person who just wanted to concentrate on playing the game and you're like, you know, no offense to you, but talking constantly, I think that would probably annoy me a little bit as well. Just say yeah but you know what you would do Stuart? you would just go into the settings and mute me well maybe but he was probably that much <laughs> I mean, into the game he right? probably couldn't be bothered doing that he was probably oh every time anybody scores you have 10 seconds to do what you need to do he could have well, maybe. muted me maybe and i mean don't get me wrong i look you don't know this about me but i talk a lot <laughs> and i'm aware of that well, and i do i do i'm totally aware of it but this is the thing you see he had you won he probably would have been fine but the fact that right. he talked a lot and then lost, it was probably right. just lost. It. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I mean, whatever. At the end of the day, uh, I feel sorry for him. I I'm sick of dealing with these angry still children. Still not appropriate de behavior, by the way, should I point out. Yeah, exactly. But it's, it's, it's the thing. I wish the game weren't so fun. If the game, like, you know, Dota, League of Legends, Call of Duty, all these games, I've come and go, I dropped into them and dropped out. Overwatch, I played for a while. I can step away from any of those because they're not, you know, they're fun, but they're not that much fun. Something about Rocket League, man. It's it's oh god, I got don't its know what hooks, it is. man. Its hooks are it's in you. So got its hooks into me. And it, and it is forever, I fear. Well, I mean, maybe we'll see. I mean, I've stepped away from other games. Yeah, but, but how long have you? So how far? many years is Rocket League now for you? It's a long, <laughs> four thousand hours yeah, worth of years. It's a That's long, ridiculous. long right. time. I'm done I doubt talking you'll about have Rocket step League. Away. Well, we'll see. Step Who away. knows? I maybe um, I will. Maybe I won't. Right, I'm going to just go straight into this because I feel like Ooh, I have to. Straight in. So, as you know, the last couple of weeks I played Scarlet Hollow and I also played uh, yes. Slay the Princess. And yes. I decided to go down the visual novel rabbit hole. I was like, what oh, other, now. Speaking of gotten their what hooks in them. other visual novels could you mean I play? You just decided to go down the let's play a bunch of shit games. Well, <laughs> so yeah. so I so I looked at what like what are the best you know visual novel games to play you know let's see let's have oh a look on Reddit let's have a look in other places let's see what oh, people recommend. Reddit is the hoi polloi the most no hoi polloi is so what is people. the best game to play? upper crust yeah now, okay so what now, did they tell you one of these games was free so I thought well that that's a good price that's a good you know, start it's, isn't it if it's a bit rubbish. It's a free game. I've not invested any money in this. Let's... Stingy Stewart, Stewart the no, Stingy. No, no, it had it had it had great reviews. It's got ten out of ten on Steam. Or thousands of reviews. I mean, this and also game it's free. Is very highly regarded. It's just a bonus that it's free as well. It's just a bonus. By the way, that's the other reason Rocket League is filled with sour children is because it's free. If it was a do... mission cost. It have fewer children. Go I ahead. do feel like Duke, this is a game you would appreciate. I do. I, I do. Oh, I looked at the. I looked at the 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 little sample thing there. I'm not getting <laughs> near this game. I think this is twelve year olds in love. short short skirts. No, thank you. You would love, but this... no. <laughs> so this absolutely game not is called Doki Doki Literature Club. Right. Mm, he's yeah. just making up words now, people. That's I not a real this name. Is, this is actually the name of this game. Uh, what's surprising though, now you, you're saying all this stuff, the amount of people on my friends list that have played this game and finished it, because there's a massive list of people, there's about at least 15 people of my friends list that have played this game prior to me playing it, right? Uh, okay. one of which is Tainted Brain, can I say, right? So Tainted, Ooh, tainted Brain, brain. don't out people, okay. I'm just yeah, really, it. man. What a brand and I thought, well, maybe, maybe they just played it for five minutes and stopped. But no, they've all played it for five hours, which is the length of the game. So oh, nearly God. everybody who's played it has finished it. All right. Okay. The 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 premise of the game is uh, it's a dating game, oh, kind oh, of. Oh, for... But it isn't a dating game either. <laughs> oh, we oh. spoke too soon. Edgy. Uh... Because the real nature of the game is. Yeah, it's horrific, mate. It's absolutely. <laughs> Legend of the Overfiend. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I mean the warning at the beginning of the game kind of gives you some idea because it said if you if you warning, suffer from tentacle uh, assault. No, 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 no. It's warning if you if you suffer from depression or have suicidal thoughts. Oh, God. Do not play this game. If you're easily disturbed, do not play this game. If you are under the age of 13, which I'll be honest, I think this should be over the age of 18. Uh, mm. But it says if you're under the age of 13, do not play this game. You have been warned. Don't play this game. So obviously I played the game. You know, I was just yeah. like, huh? Oh, what's up with that? And yeah, it's pretty shocking. I've got to say... I, I was waiting because obviously it's all these warnings at the beginning. It's just like, well, nothing's happened. Yeah, all these girls. So, so, so it's a dating sim at first. And when did you realize it was something more than just a dating sim? Oh, it's quite a way in. You play quite a lot of the game before something really shocking happens. But when it you can't does tell happen, us that'd be a spoiler. Yeah, it would be a massive spoiler for anyone who. I would, I would recommend people play this, but it's not for the faint-hearted, and it's, it's, it has very graphic depictions of stuff. Uh, is the best way to put it. Um, but oh. it, it is very clever. I must admit, the ending is brilliant. Uh, it does break the fourth wall. It does a lot of that stuff towards the end of the game. It is kind of poking fun a little bit at dating games. Uh, the main mechanic of the game is it's just ridiculous, really. So you join a literature club. Your bestest friend from when you were a kid like convinces you to come along to it. You know, like, Have you joined a club? Yeah, come and join the literature club. And you've basically got to pick words to create poems, and that's and then you just exchange poems in the in the main game. So you read what they've written, they read what you've written, and then they critique it, etc. Uh, and there's other stuff going on. You build relationships, and I don't even know how to do it. It's not it's not an enjoyable game because it's because of the subject matter. So that's probably not the best way to describe this. But it is a very interesting. I think it's the best way to say it. It's it's kind of a cool game. It's cool at the end, but it's not. I don't know how it can be cool. It's just weird because of the stuff that's in it isn't cool. But it does depict some real life stuff that people go through, I guess. Mm. So there you go. I don't know how else to describe it, but yeah, Doki Doki. Well, the uh, reception part of the Wikipedia page says that uh, one reviewer said it was a postmodern love letter to the genre it represents and compared its deconstructive quality to Undertale and Pony Island. And yeah. I'm never going to yeah. go near this, this No, game. I mean, it's it's very, very clever how it works. It's oh, very well, clever. Okay. And the stuff, it links to stuff in real life. So the stuff you have to do in real life, to that's linked to the game itself. It's very clever. It's been out a long time, by the way. It's been out, I think it was about 2016. I, I just don't think it's my jam. But I don't think it is. I, de I definitely don't think it is. But uh, if you're interested at all in these types of games, it's it's a weird game. Because and you don't like, suffer from depression or anxiety. And you no, don't mind no, seeing horrible yeah, violence. You don't, yeah, yeah. If you don't suffer from depression or have suicidal thoughts or anything like that, you'll be okay. But I definitely wouldn't recommend it for anybody who's, who's in the least bit, you know, any of that stuff. Um, the only thing, the only thing I would say is when I was playing it, it was almost like if Kay came down and saw this on the screen, what the <laughs> hell would she think? Uh, yeah. because he does have all those tropes of th these sort of weird dating sims, you know, where right. 12 year old girls in very short skirts, yeah, and to get you to go accentuated on a body parts, if you will, right. Um, yes. highly sexualized preteens got it yeah but I think it's some of that's to ape the genre it's sort of deconstructed well, yeah I know. mean that's the genre it's in so you know yeah. it has to do the thing to make fun of the thing yeah exactly exactly but it is very, but that being said it's, it's very well written the dialogue in the game right. is really well and it is totally reading uh, Chini so you would hate this uh, yeah I'm not playing no... I'm not going fucking near this thing <laughs> no there's there's no uh there is actually, I tell a lie, right, very, very right at the end, there is some spoken dialogue, but the the sort of 99% oh. of the game is all written. Oh, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that 30 seconds of spoken dialogue could be fun. Indeed. But yeah, very clever, very impressed. I've got another load of these lined up to play, so I'm going to start playing one of these a week. Uh, I finished, started wow. and finished okay. this in the week. I, I was totally engrossed in it. I'm a so the, the thing the thing I'm waiting for, Stu, is at some point, is there going to be like a life-size cutout of a, of some like waifu in the back? And you're just no. like, oh, that's my friend, Kim, you know, Kia-san. 
Like, no, the, the, the other ones I've picked to play... Friends. The other ones I picked to play aren't like this one, <laughs> can we say? Like James Franco on 30 Rock. Like, no. Yeah, I've weird. got Steins Gate lined up, by his, which is by the same people who did 999 and those sorts of games. So, okay. yeah, that's. Yeah. So that should be that should be fine. That'll be it is Japanese, but will be less. This isn't Japanese, by the way. It's not even made by a Japanese developer, I don't think. Really? Wow. No. OK, well, they, so they nailed the aesthetic. They did. They totally nailed it. Totally now. The artwork's great, by the way. Really, really cool artwork, but not for the faint-hearted. So that's my warning. Yes. But, but definitely play it because it is interesting. It's a very clever game. So there you hey. go, Chinny. There you go, to you. Chinny. You're up. Um, play my game, bitch. Yeah, shall we do that? All right, let's talk about it. Bitch, 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 bitch. Yeah, bitch. This week's Play My Game Bitch is Evil West. Evil it's West. A, and if you've been listening to Beyonce's new album, that fits perfectly with this. Yeah, but this ain't Texas. They're both Western. Um, this ain't Hold'em. So, yes, this is developer called Flying Wild Hog. Polish. Yep. Yeah. Polish. Dutch is going to Poland soon. Cool. Third, Maybe she'll meet them. Third yeah. person brawler, shooter ish. Sort yeah, of. Punching things mostly. And shooting stuff. And then the, the general. Well, I didn't get to the part where you're shooting stuff, so oh, I'll take your word on that. There's definitely shit. shooting stuff. And then you play a, a okay. Ikea boy called Jesse Rentia, uh, a member yep. of uh -huh. the last of the vampire hunters basically and you just you just can't get the work these days do you know what i mean like there's just yeah. there's just not enough vampire work out there um yeah. so that's it uh you start off Our vampires everybody likes vampires you start off and you got to blow up a, a bridge and you're like oh we're gonna blow this yeah, bloody bloody bridge up and everybody's like why there's a vampire and it is a bloody it? bridge and uh and then you you you, you sort it out uh, There's monsters, and you go and punch the monsters. Ah! Developer was inspired by. Can you guess the games that they? Uh, were Red Dead Redemption. I'm guessing. No. No. I think gameplay. Uh, hmm. Game. Brawlhalla. What? Um, what was the one where you're shooting and punching things? I don't know. There's a lot of them sort of There's games. A lot of games doing that, Duke. There's a lot of games where you shoot and punch uh, stuff. Duke I've shot saying. and punched things. Was by loads. the developer of another game. Again, a lot of developers uh, have made other games. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm being very imprecise. What game do you think this is like? Uh, the game I can't remember the name of. I don't know. It's just a shooting. No, it's not. Game. It's not Brawling. a shooting game. It's a brawler. Uh, I don't know. Go on. Let's just for God's sake, just tell us. Developers was inspired by God of War 2018. Oh, of course. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Devil May Cry. That would oh, make, right, that okay. makes sense. Which would make sense because of the... Well, shooting, it kind of does, but there's not a lot of combo. I mean, Devil May Cry is all about the crazy combos. But I suppose, like... This game does want you to do combos. They yeah. have, well, like, some, spiky some, walls. Uh, You're supposed to punch the things stuff. into it. So mainly... Yeah, it's, yeah you it's, uppercut them and then you... <laughs> it's, it's a brawler, really. Um, it's a... it's a, it's You know, you punch things and you, you, you can uppercut things. And there's some spikes and you can knock them these like the yeah. sort of like vamp zombie vampire fucked up things and yeah they are yeah and you can <laughs> knock them into that uh sometimes there's very big zombie vampire things that have big sword things that yeah so i'm i'm sort yeah. of gauging that you didn't didn't really like this I, well, I, I was having fun until I got to the dude with the big sword thing, and then you do the combo where you grab the sword and you slice him open and over and over in the chest, yeah. and then you leave the sword behind and continue punching people. Wait, take the sword! What are you doing? And then I'm punching people and I'm punching, and here comes super double bonus big dude with even bigger sword slicing and killing me. Here's homeboys up on the rock. I got you. I got a gun. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna not shoot him while you go ahead and just punch him. You punch 
reach him and I'll be up here with a gun. Shoot the dude with he your did, gun. To, no, nope. oh, to be dead, fair, he, dead. He start over, dead. Start over. You know what? This game, I'm done. No, no. To be fair, he did yes. shoot him quite a few times when I was playing. Not in my game. He didn't yeah, kill didn't him. him. He didn't kill him ever. because you still got. I didn't see any work. health coming off of him because a homeboy up on yeah, the cliff with a shotgun. Yeah, he did in my game. Okay, well, I'll take your word on that because I just died seven times. So yeah, the mechanic is basically you you brawl you you walk through and then your sort of your your mate uh bullet storm thank you james bevan that's the game I was your your, your uh, buddy sort of shoots from afar or sometimes he throws dynamite from afar yeah you can play by the way you can play this in co-op so can someone you? else would be yes you can oh didn't know that which would make more sense to have a gun really. Having sense. a gun would make sense. Well, you I mean, if you're going to blow up a train, you, you better get, have a gun. You do, you do. I didn't oh, have a gun. God. At no point when I was playing this game did I have a gun. Enough, you get a gun. Well, guess Jesus. what? If I get killed seven times in no, a row dude, and I'm not having fun... Dude, if you played a game for more than five minutes, you'd have got you a, get gun. a gun. Yeah. Well, I get... Okay, it wasn't well, that long I game. Felt... It wasn't that long game. It wasn't really, Dick. I don't not. understand why you don't have a gun at the start of the because game. It just, it's, it's a tutorial, isn't it? It's, it's just showing you the is a tutorial. Shit. It's a tutorial. Why can't I skip it and move on to the oh actual game God. where I'm not getting killed every Dude, five seconds? you're so impatient. I'm sorry for not being better at game... Impatient? You how are many impatient. Times? I, I died seven times in a row. Why? Well, how many times should I have died? Well, you should still oh, less at games. That's not the game's fault. Like you we're going there, huh? Okay. Well, I did all right. Did you do all right? Right, I'm just making it. Okay, no, times. that's fine. It's, it's, no, I'm just asking a question. Barred. No, I know, and I'm just making a note. Ginny, did you die seven times? Just no, dude. No, and I didn't die seven sucks times either. At games. You suck okay. at get. You do you know what it's because you play okay. too much that's Rocket fine. League. <laughs> uh, this is the seventh of April. Yeah, <laughs> okay. uh, sure. Wow, just say you know, I can't help it that you suck at yeah, me. Oh, hey, yeah, I can't help it. That's sure. <laughs> I feel like he's just brought you down on some sort of hit list. Yeah, I, it's like <laughs> I just watched Billy Madison. I, I gotta again. just I'm say, I call that dude. It's like People having rain. Do. It's like having Rain Man on the podcast. I don't know what it's it was. Like Justin wow, Hoffman. now I'm Rain Man. Yeah. I'm, he punched oh, and hit me. He's having to go at autistic he punched people. Hit me on the seventh. He punched and hit me on the seventh. <laughs> to write Damn, it down. I don't know in if you book. took the right thing away from Rain Man, dude. Well, no, but that's what he does. Every time he wronged him, he wrote it down in his book. And that's what you're doing. So yeah, obviously, that's what I'm thinking. It's a, it's kind I just of want to know what the like. rules are for our conversations. If the rules are, like, make fun of each other because we didn't have fun in a game. Okay, cool. I'm just <laughs> right, trying to remember for next time. No, what well, it is, dude, right? I'm going to be totally no, no, I'm going to be totally honest with you, dude. Okay, be totally when honest. We do these, when we do these games, you barely give yes. them a chance. Every week, you're the same. You barely get past the tutorial because you well, don't give the Well, is that true chance. about Frontier and Lightyear? The one we played yeah, last actually, week? Was yeah, that true about that? Whoa. Let me ask you a question, though. How many of those types of games do you play on an average? A lot of them. So well, you're going to like that. When you play something that's not in your definite Maybe. comfort zone, you just go, fuck it, I'm done. I play for five except minutes. Except for Return of Grace. Don't get on with it. Except, except for well, Return, again, Return of Grace, a... I was like, we've got to... There's no challenge. Should I keep going? Game, I mean, though. is this... There's no challenge. Like... There's no challenge. In that game. When you get a bit challenging, you're just not prepared to give it a chance. I'm sorry, like but that's what I think. I'm just saying what I think. I'm just saying what I think. Rust, Call of Duty, Battle... Like, I don't play these Rust. games, is that... No, you play all those sorts of games, though, but those are your <laughs> type of games when you play something that you don't necessarily... But you just said I don't play games that are too challenging, and I'm well, trying to suggest to you that I play well, games Rust, that are challenging. Rust can be, but it's not necessarily... Well, you don't I think don't Rust is I'm necessarily just saying how I feel. I'm just saying how I feel. You don't give these games... I'm just responding to what you say. I'm not... To make no, a you, you brought it up. That's it. fine. But you say Destiny Two is it all challenging? No. Well, you, I don't know why you're so rubbish at this game. Then explain. <laughs> I don't either. I, it's not. I mean, look. Maybe if I had kept at it, you're right. I would have liked it more. But yeah, you know, I, and you would have got, got two guns. You got two guns, in fact, not just one. Okay. Well, I mean, look. We the record shows that I have in the past quit games because of difficulty with weapons, The Witcher, and then gone back later and said, "Eh, this is not too bad." Once you figure out how the weapons work. So maybe that's the case with this game. Maybe I was unfair anyway, to you. Anyway, I think it's pretty good. I, I liked, I'll tell you what Wait. I did like. I liked all okay. the auto contextual stuff. You don't have to press a button to jump over stuff or climb. Because you suck just, at games, you can't it. figure out how to jump over stuff. No, again. no, I just think it's, it's just more fluid. It just, it's more fluid. Why press a button for some of that? It's just so rudimentary. I agree. Do you know I what agree. I mean? I like the fact that he went, eh, more interactive, don't need to makes it more challenging. Yeah, what's the point? Yeah. But the, obviously, you have to press buttons when you're fighting because that's where the skill comes anyway, in. I would like it if you didn't because then it's more fun if you don't have to press <laughs> yeah, buttons. Yeah, it would be more fun if you didn't have to do any fighting. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't know. What do you think, Tini? I don't know what else to say. So Evil West is a cowboy <laughs> brawler <laughs> game. So, Chinny, what do you so think? So far, I got. You don't want you to read the Wikipedia article. Tell us what you ah, think, Chinny. So damn. far, I got before the, a full on argument went out. Um, <laughs> I, I, I really liked what it. What you like? That's the problem. I really liked it. Similar. Yeah. I really ahead, liked Chini. it. Yes, you I liked really liked it. it. Yeah, okay, no, I, I was like. When when did this fucking game happen? In like, 2022, I went to I have a look. Actually, no, yeah. it was a rhetorical question, Stu. Didn't, no, no, didn't, I was like, didn't I want the that answer. Was the same. No, I was the same though. I was like, when did this come out? So yeah. I went to look, and it was 2022. I was like, when when did this come out? Like, this is great, and yeah, I thought it was brilliant. It feels like, yeah, it feels like somebody went, hey, you know, God of War, yeah, let's do that. And I was like, what about? Don't know. Just figure it out later. Right, yeah. but what? It, what <laughs> but we can't be gods. I don't know, cowboys. Like, yeah, who cares, right? <laughs> and because the, the story is pants, basically, garbage. It's, it's garbage. stupid. It's just like you're a vampire hunter. Who cares? Um, but great enemy variety. Uh, good design. Good um, boss fights. I like the boss fights. It's I just it. It feels great. like a B movie game. You know that sort yeah, of like definitely. Just, in in the back in the 360 days when you used to get these games and you're just like this is great this is fine this just plays well it does does what it needs to do it just feels like a sort of traditional game I suppose the only um, disservice is that it's sort of sort of simple really like it, it you know it's got all the perk system it's it's very predictable like it's just Yep, you, you go in an arena, you beat some people up and then you rank up and you got a new thing it's and nothing you got new or revolutionary no it's but like but it's yeah. but it it's it, you know it's fine. Who like this it sort of well? Thing, it's, like it's, really it sort well. of feels like I don't know. You know when Marvel movies were good and they were coming out and they were good. You're like I don't know. It's just another one of them. Like it, it's, there's a bad guy. You, you you fight them and then they win. Like who cares? Like it's great. Um, it's just like a like just a roller coaster sort of thing. And it looks pretty good, by the way. We should say graphically. Looks great. It looks great. Yeah. Great. Great. Uh, great sort of locations and stuff. I just I'm I'm just like I was like blown away of how good it looked and how good it played. Yeah. And I was like. This is when? When did this happen? Like I don't even. I know. If this Isn't came it out, weird too? how you miss these sort of games. You just if, missed them. If though, this came out in two thousand and seven, this probably would have been like game of the year. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I agree. I think <laughs> but, this would have been been that up the like that sort of ranking. But no, it's like no, who gives a shit? Like I don't know. It's just yeah. one of them. So it's it shows you how how hungry we are as gamers to to look for the the things that blow us away and 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 how just sort of formulaic and how, how far we've come i suppose because yeah. The, yeah like 10 15 years ago this would have been mind-blowing but now it's just yeah i mean i've got to say one of the things i mean just just going back to duke's point i think once once you work out the sort of how to do the combat and roll and dodge and all that kind of stuff it it does become easier you know what i mean you do it there is a learning curve though there's a learning curve too, and, and I, you know, and I guess you suck. There's a learning curve, yeah. In in Duke's defense, both you and I, Chini, have played a lot of God of War games and these types of games, and I played loads of Devil May Cry games. So, I guess we're just more practiced at it, I suppose, because we play those types of games a lot. Where Duke <sighs> doesn't. I don't you know. know. Yeah, uh, uh, it's it it's it's certainly not um like it doesn't help you. You know, uh, when you when say in God of War, the genius thing that they did in God of War was that they had that head on your belt that told you when somebody was behind you. Yeah, yeah. Whereas on this, you don't have stuff like that. No, right? you've got to be aware. You've and got it, to be it, aware I of feel what's like going on. One of one of the things I didn't like about it is that you you very rarely get the chance to properly batter an enemy. Because there's always another enemy. You get about two hits before another enemy tries to, to get in. So yeah. you never really get the chance to sort of... Yeah, it doesn't through. give... Some games, they give you that sort of almost like one-on-one -on -one thing, even though there's a group of enemies that yeah. you kind of come in one at a time. This doesn't. This, this doesn't. They just come in. So it's not... Um, I but do it's, like not the, it's not as difficult sort of, as a sort of... Like a Souls game, but it's... No, it's, definitely not. And I do like uh, the finishes and stuff. You know, if you shoot an enemy enough, you can then do a finisher yeah. on them. I mean, it's 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 God of War, really. I mean, it is a God of War. It's not it's not as fluid no, or as, no. as exciting as God of War. It's, no, it's no, trying but, to be that type of game. Yeah, but in the Wild West. Um, I might carry on playing it. Yeah, I might play a bit more of this. I, I, like I played it. it today, but um, and then I had to finish the Uncharted thing, so I was like, oh, I better get back on that because I've obviously got to finish that for tonight. So I stopped playing it for, just for that reason. So really. it's a thumbs up from me. 
massive thumbs up from me and uh, Duke. Duke is putting <laughs> no, his not my down. thing. Yeah, yeah, thumb down. Thumbs down from Duke. Yeah. Um, well, there you go. Anyway, nice. moving on, Duke. What else have yeah. you got? So there's a game called Starfield. And I mentioned last week that I'm really enjoying this game, and I continue to enjoy it. Uh, there are some interesting powers. So yeah, but you, you know, suck at it, though. It's Fallout. Yeah, yeah I do suck, suck at it. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's not hard, though, so it's it's okay for me to be you good keep at dying, enjoy yeah. this game. You keep not dying, hard. you do. Yeah. No, I don't. I, have, I don't think I've died once. Anyway, uh, the uh, but I have died in another game that I've been playing. We'll get to that. Cool. So you Starfield. So I don't. I don't think Fallout has like powers really. Um, but Skyrim obviously has the dragon shouts. You know. So uh, this game has something kind of like the dragon shout in the form of these powers. And there are some interesting ones. One of them is uh, your personal oxygen field. So when you run, you have an oxygen meter, and when it's depleted, then you start using up CO2, and then the red meter shows up, and it's like, you better stop, because if you keep going, you will pass out. So basically, it's a way to keep you from just sprinting everywhere. Um, but this power, when you activate it, it just refills your oxygen tank, and you just have full oxygen until it wears off. So it, it just it's a nice little way to keep going with... You know, if you're sprinting places or presumably in a fight, it might be useful to help you run away from people. Um, so that's pretty cool. There's one called precog, like precognition, where when you go into a conversation with somebody, it'll to, when you hover over the options for dialogue, it'll it'll show you what they will say in response to that line uh, of dialogue. That's cool. Which is cool, and it could be useful when you're trying to get someone to do something, but. It goes away once you enter a persuasion challenge. Uh, I was just going to ask about uh, that. Yeah. Okay. What's the it's point? It's like the one time when it's right. Exactly. That's what everyone online is saying. Like, what the? Because I was like, am I doing it wrong? And then I went looking for, you know, like forums and stuff. And everybody on Reddit and the Steam conversations is like, what the fuck is the point of this shit? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's what I was wondering. So that's a shame. But there is one called Gravity Wave, which is basically the same as the Fusro Die in Skyrim. <laughs> push people away which is really handy and um there's another one that will lift them up in the air so it'll like suspend them in this oh, floating cloud of stuff which is kind of cool because again you know you it, it helps you turn the tide of a battle you know or like you, know, you can save ammunition because then or when you're reloading you put them in the air you reload and then you're you know taking them down which is pretty cool so uh, I, that you know it's clear that there's a bunch of these that you're going to collect over the course of the game so uh, you know it's a nice thing that you know, okay we'll see what the next little uh possibility is the next little power that i'm going to unlock uh the persuasion challenges continue to be a pain in the ass and i've maxed out my persuasion now i've got like 30 percent more likely to persuade people but it's still just pants so max um, max would, is 30 percent i think it's either 30 or 40 percent so yeah i've low. got the max possible because i usually go right for persuasion i want to do think. everything i can to not yeah. be thrown away when i can't persuade someone of something so I was complaining last week about the follower system, and it turns out it is actually better than I realized because mm. if you have someone on your crew, but they're not in your ship, there is something, someone, I don't remember who it was, thank you, whoever it was, said, you know, look at your list of followers, and it'll tell you where they are. So that's pretty cool because then you can say, okay, I want to go find this person oh, okay. at the lodge or that's whatever good. it is. And if, so I was doing a mission where my follower couldn't join me, and I should have known that Bethesda would say at one point, your, your follower has to wait here. Uh, but instead, I just said, hey, wait here, I'll be right back. And I said, you know, there's an option when you have a follower, like just wait here. Uh, it, as soon as you do that, it puts a quest into your activities list that says, go find your follower again. So you can easily find where your follower is if you just choose that quest and then just follow it back to wherever you left them. Which is nice because there have been times in Skyrim where I've told someone, "Let's just wait here," and then I I forget to pick them up again, and then I'm like, "Where the fuck are they?" You know, and they're like halfway through Black Reach or something. I'm just like, eh, I don't know where my person is. So. Yeah. So you liking it? Yeah. So you, so you enjoy how many it. how many hours in are you, Duke? Uh, I don't know. Let me pull up the X because I'm still oh, playing this on Game Pass. Bit. Yeah, let's find out in real time, people. I know. How many hours I've got on hours. Starfield. Last played, uh, bit, 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 time played, N.A. Why does it say N.A.? That's oh, no. weird. Not available. That's, that's bizarre. That's All suspicious. the achievements are locked? No, they're sh why are those achievements locked? I'm playing this. On you know why? Because I launch it through Steam, I guess. And so maybe it thinks it's not tracking the fact that I'm playing. That's weird. 
whatever anyway just, I've been playing, you don't I want press, you to know so you just keep playing it i guess my guess would be that it's about 20 or 30 hours that i've been playing this so far oh, it's pretty good then you just start you know you're starting good. to chip away you're starting to chip away i am starting to chip away and i'm doing this quest uh, line that you see on the screen here it's for this company ryujin uh company and you know i'm thinking most of the time in fallout like you do a quest it's going to be basically go here kill a bunch of monsters come back you know bring me this thing whatever and in this game, this quest line, it's all corporate espionage, corporate espionage. And it's like, go get the secret file from this person's computer and don't get seen. And I'm like, okay, I got to make sure I'm not seen. I hate stealth missions, but whatever. I signed up for this. Let me just do it. So I'm like ducked down. I'm making sure the guard who's on his you know, routine back and forth in the office area is like not seeing me. And then he sees me and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm gonna have to start it over again. And he just walks right past. I'm like, well, Hello. Fuck. And then I stood up and I'm like jumping around and he's just rock doing Hello. his rounds. And I'm like, well, fuck. I know. I'm like, well, okay. I guess it didn't matter that I'm the secret like, base like, this way. <laughs> Can you tell me where the secret file is? Yeah, on sure. my computer over there. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to use it for anything bad. Password. The password is one. <laughs> yeah. One. I'll you know, just know what usually three, happens in three, these games. Let's be honest. Uh, I'll just leave the password stuck over here on the post. Oh, no. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't tell you the password. Well, but she it's tells you something what the to password do with is. the birthday. Or, and or it's the... on an e. Yeah, or right. it's on an email. Yeah, it's, it's on an email. It's your mom's yeah. birthday, and there's a calendar next to the. the, the yeah. See, with a circle. This game mom's is birthday. This game is feast or famine, man. It's either deliver. 10,000 iron to this planet and we're not going to tell you anything about how to do it or <laughs> hack into this person's computer here's your password and it doesn't matter if the guards see you or not yeah. like, exactly. can we have something in the middle of the road yeah. that's a little challenge i, lo I like uh, the idea that anyway. some some planets are just stupid as fuck yeah yeah right oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> can we just say by the way while we mentioned fallout are you too excited for the fallout tv show i am i keep talking the duchess like we gotta watch this man it's taken, it looks, interest. I'm, I'm, it it looks, looks interesting. It does. It's taken. It looks like they did it right. Tara and I about four months just to watch three seasons of a show. So like, no. Yeah, yeah it might not be happening. <laughs> so, just everything yeah, takes no. ages these days. So we're gonna have to watch it in one month though, because we're you know I don't want to give Amazon more money than I have. Well, to. I was just thinking that, that free trial month, Amazon, and, isn't then... It? and can I just say right? They've added obviously adverts in now, so there's adverts on TV. Excellent. Which I don't mind, right? If even if they gave me three minutes of adverts at the beginning of the movie or the beginning of the show, mm -hmm. I'm kind of fine with that, and I'll go and make a brew or whatever before we start watching. Have it a was. I'll go and have a was, whatever, right? In your brew. We were watching a horror movie, and it got to a really tense bit, and it stopped yeah. for and adverts. Now, yeah. Try and these I was diapers. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, so I don't bogus. what I don't get I don't again I don't even mind in a TV show but a fucking right. movie yeah. an advert in the middle of a movie I'm like or what? at the very least like when they get to the safe room and they're like okay we'll be safe in here for a while then you it can was it was in a really tense bit you know someone was being stalked yeah. down the corridor and then it just suddenly went off and I'm like have you got stopped? problems with I'm your erection oh my god <laughs> I was just like what you suffer was, from knife in the back syndrome two and a half minutes of adverts as well it wasn't just like yeah. one quick advert it was about two minutes or something I'm like this uh, this is fucking ridiculous <laughs> it is yeah oh, he's back oh he's back bum, 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 welcome back bum, 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 bum. what look happened at you. look Where at you are you you're Where the host you? now yeah yeah Bum, 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 bum. Can he not hear us now? Yeah, yeah I can hear. I'm just. <laughs> All right, okay. I literally just sat here. He just doesn't want to talk to us. I sat here yeah. and sang the Mario theme, and then it all came back on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I couldn't be bothered true. to move. Um, <laughs> well, that's why. I that's what we sure were saying. Sometimes gone. you just don't be. You're just not bothered to like, move. It looks like he's still here. No, 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 he's not here. Yeah. <laughs> I just it just went off and then came back on again. I don't know what. what yeah, I don't know. Virgin yeah, Internet. Very don't strange. you just love it? Great. Uh, anyway, Chinny, that being said, it is time for Does It Hold Up? Does It Hold Up? Wow, that was a good one. <laughs> That's going to be I'm the new it. jingle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a 40 a day smoker. Does it hold up? Going to... <laughs> does, does he smoke wood binds? <laughs> does it? Uh, what are we playing, yes. Stu? 
But yeah, we played from chapter five up Uncharted to three. Yeah, up chapter to, ten. Well, uh, yeah, we ch- we beginning. We played beginning up to the start of ten because I texted you and said this seems like a good place to stop. It did uh, seem like a good place to stop. So say. Uncharted three, we start off in France. We do. We go into the chateau. I was hoping for chateau. wine, but there wasn't any. Yeah, there was no wine. Yeah, I was a wine. bit disappointed. Uh, and Sully, we, we, we just get keep getting reminded how old he is, don't we? It's like, oh, I can't climb around there. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, so old now. So old. Uh, I do feel like Sully should take a step back, if I'm being honest, having played this game, you know, keep yeah. playing it. It's like, it's Enjoy just your a, golden years, dude. Yeah, I mean, this guy, at some point, and I, and I think it is in this game where this happens, where where you think he gets killed, don't you? Is it in this game that happens? Oh, I can't remember. Later in the Isn't game. He, get, he gets killed in every fucking game. Yeah, it's like... He gets killed in the first game. He's got the reflexes of an elephant, hasn't he? You know what I mean? I mean uh, he, gets ki- he, gets, he gets killed in the first game. Yeah. He get, well, he gets shot. He gets he shot does. at the start of this game. Yeah, it does. But honestly, it does. there'll be a... There'll be a I don't know what happens in four because I haven't played four, but there'll be a scene where we like... He's, he's dead, and you'll at his funeral, and I'll be waiting for him to jump out of the fucking casket. I know, yeah. He, he's <laughs> Doug Judy fly. like he's in the back dancing to the yeah, song you're singing. Doug Judy! Um, I, I, what I wrote on my notes is, it's just a couple of guys, isn't they? Just a couple of yeah. guys, Nate. They're just sticking it. about. They're, They're just sticking about. Stuff. And this is definitely the era of gamers just love climbing shit, don't they? Oh, yeah, there's a like, lot there's of climbing a lot in this of cli- yeah. Every game... In this, like in this span, you know, Assassin's Creed and yeah. what was that PlayStation one? The one with oh, the, with the, the lightning. One with the lightning. Yeah. Lightning in your fingers. The lightning man. Uh, the lightning man. Oh, uh, can't remember. Let's just called. call you, it. You like that? Infamous. Infamous. There you go. Everybody infamous. just. They're just climbing everywhere, aren't they? Everybody loved climbing. Yeah. yeah. Um, big towers. Big towers. In well, it. Assassin's Creed is what started that off. Let's be yeah. Clear. Yeah. I don't know well, why, but I do sort of groan every time I get to a puzzle. These days, in there's Uncharted quite a few game. of them in this section. Of I gotta think well. about something. I'm just like, something oh, out. I'm just God. shoot people. And it's usually like, you know, the, the one that you've got to do is like you've got to turn a knight to the shield yeah. facing the axe. And I'm like, no one, fi- the no one snake. figured this out before me. No, no one. Like, are you joking? <laughs> Right, this is fucking. Well, that's easy. like when you're when you're in Fallout or Starfield and you're going through some abandoned mine shaft and it's like, here's twenty credits and bullets. Like, really, end of the world. Nobody Let's... thought to look in here to get yeah. some bullets. Can we just say? Can we just say though, they didn't have Drake's journal. You know what I mean? That... That's true. Yeah. Oh, was that? Oh, oh. It was just an enormous Uh-oh. naked bang. person running by. I Ooh. have no idea. It was an enormous bang. It was such a big bang. It made my Sure, vibrate. It spawned oh, a new man. universe. Oh. Is that an earthquake? I have no idea. That there was have been weird. a lot of those around. Me. That was very odd. Can I just say? You need to go investigate. Let's do I the. Don't know. Let's do the British thing. And carry yeah, on. Yeah, just ignore it. Let's just ignore it and carry on. Um, um, so, so and chap- continue. Cha- keep chapter going. six, where you're in France, kind of like a boring chapter. I think you go to the chateau. It, it is. You until go into the a end. cave. Until the end of the chapter. What's the end there? I forgot. Uh, it, they set it on fire, don't they? You've got to escape from the burning yeah. chateau oh, you, and castle. You, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, you go to so you go to the chateau. You're trying to find half of a medallion, uh, and like a, a knight. Is it a knight at the round table? I can't remember. Who knows? I, feel like it's, I feel like it's meant to be a knight at the round table. table. Isn't it all bloody? It's isn't it Lawrence of Arabia stuff? Yeah, I don't know. It's some knight. <laughs> Uh, but you've, so you've got to find his Drake tomb. is involved. Lawrence of the Arabia. Arabia? 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 Arabia. Arabia. Um, Arabia the rapper. <laughs> Arabia the rapper. And I, I, there's a lot of oh, like, the... there's a lot of <laughs> Sully going, well, what if you do this? I'm like, fuck off, man. There's like, you, you do the puzzle <laughs> and you're yeah, like, yeah. What, what if you move that there? And you're like, I know what I'm yeah. doing. Like, just no give me to... a chance. <laughs> I wish there, there was might a... be a secret <laughs> passage down here. Look, just, what, uh, one may, down here. Maybe those symbols line up. To, I'm like, exactly. Yeah, stop yeah. it, man. It is like having an old bloke with you. He's, he's kind of your hint system, though, isn't he? That's what he's there for. I know for. he's there he's for that. Hints. That's uh, not hints. And like in God of War, like, uh, like the, the, the boy always did that. He's like, what if you just figure it out, you stupid prick? And, um, yeah, it is. That really got on my tits. Um, and I, 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 I don't know. Just like, I, I, I thought it was... 
fine. Uh, yeah, I didn't of... mind. I, I didn't mind these chapters. To be fair, the ones in the chateau, and I thought it was. It was just. I thought it was all right. You know, you get you get to the night, you find the half a medallion, then obviously spiders. His name is, uh, spiders. They're funny yeah. looking spiders, kind of. Just and they say. did. They did. Do you wonder? Do you reckon this is where Plague's Tale got their idea for the rats? Because it's pretty much the same concept, isn't it? Like, yeah, it is. you got to use light to like fuck the spiders and don't up. get overrun don't get yeah. overrun by the spiders and there's there was a there was a bit where i couldn't get away from the spiders and i was just like stuck and i had to like reload the thing because they, well i, I kept get away. trying to re- is there a sprint button or does no it just automatic- no i didn't think there was i was like i'm sure there must be a sprint button because i'm not going fast enough to get away but then it gave me a button prompt and if i press circle it would bat them off Oh, but no, that never happened to me. Yeah, it doesn't give you... I died twice, and then the oh, next time... Oh, did it do it because you, because you it crap gave, at games? Yeah, it went... It, no, but Duke. Who, but it doesn't give you any indication that you can bat them I see off what you until did the there. button... No, I think, no, I think no, it, I think if it, you it, it Yeah, if you, if you die twice, maybe it does Probably then. You just suck. Maybe it just went, yeah, press circle to bat them away. And I'm like, oh, why didn't but you tell me that earlier, you you're, you You're not crap at games, Um... And let's be honest, right? If you were Nathan Drake in real life, you'd automatically be batting them away. Can I can I say what the the <laughs> formula for every Uncharted game is? Right, yeah. you you go into a place, yeah. Drake finds a thing, yeah. The bad guy turns finds up you. turns up at the finds end and you. goes, "Give me that thing." Yeah, that. And that then you have to run I'm out. Just... Yeah, that's that's, totally that's true. every fucking Uncharted game yeah, all is. the time. Yeah, um because that happens in this the burning building well it is... happens several times to several be fair times. in the chapters we played the burning building is is really good i did like the burning building it's it's very yeah that's it that's a really cool section of the game yeah it's and... it's a really clever bit because it's so like chaotic cinematic and... cinematic as yeah well. it's so crazy um and you think like it's hard to sort of navigate your way around but you always sort of find your way out yeah, um, you do. but it's it's really well done. I li- I really like the burning, uh, the burning house bit. Um, yeah, it, it some of it was a bit reminiscent of the climbing up the train as well because there's bits where the banister falls off yeah, and you've got to climb up the banister yeah. and bits break away while you're trying to climb <laughs> up them. And I I kind of like this bit. I must admit, I did enjoy it. So so the 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 cool. idea is that you you and Sully are getting this one half of this medallion or whatever, and then the other two characters. The, the 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 one who loves to chag about Chloe or yeah, whatever Chloe. and Jason Statham are off, Jason are, are off getting the other half in Syria that's the idea isn't it that you split up yeah 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 you, they're the, looking in Syria you're you're so in then at from. the end so you've got the the piece because I think you get it back yeah. I can't remember no you draw it don't you on the on the thing and the bad guy has it but you've drawn it on your book so it doesn't even matter yeah Brilliant. yeah yeah you've done, right. a, done a pencil you've done a pencil rubbing. sketch pencil rubbing pencil yeah. rubbing of it so nathan's like it doesn't really matter that he's got it because i've got a i've got a rubbing and uh he, rubbing. He, he loves he loves bloody rubbing on his journal oh, doesn't he i'll tell you what he's he's like he, he nathan what, what are you doing. rubbing down there um yes, exactly. and then uh Ooh, don't worry about it what's don't what's kind of funny this is what i thought was kind of funny so you finally escape the burning building don't yeah, you? you get it and then he's like and then he has a moment of revelation where he goes oh my god if they followed us, they must have followed, followed mama, mama. Chloe as well and oh. Jason Statham. And the other guy. They don't even remember yeah. his name. The, uh, the other... Charlie is called, can I say it? I've actually noted this down. Charlie. It's called Charlie Cutter. Charlie, Charlie Cutter. I mean, that's if there wasn't a more cockney name. Charlie fucking Cutter. I'm Charlie fucking Cutter. Um, um, go on. And then a lot of Yeah, what I, like I know what you're going to is... say. I know what you're going to so, say. I so know in, exactly what you're going to say. They're in a chateau in France, right? Yeah. And then, then a little subtitle comes up the following day. Yeah, they're 20 in hours Syria. later. Yeah, they're in Wait, Syria. They're, they're in Syria. They've got to Syria within a day. Shoot. <laughs> did, got, did, you know what I did? did? You know what I did as soon as that happened? <laughs> all right. I went on Google Maps. All right. Yeah. And, I, yeah. and, I, and I went, how long does it take to drive to from, the, to from the eastern part? Not, not, not Paris. The eastern no. part, the border of France. Assuming yeah. that they're very close to the border, which they're probably not, the eastern part of France to Syria. Do you know how long that takes by car? A, a long time. It I'm takes guessing. forty-four hours. But did they fly though? Did they fly? Though? No, because they're in the same car. 
Oh yeah, that's true. I'd forgotten about the car. They're in the car! Yeah. And I'm like, there's no way they've got to Syria in a day. <laughs> Did they do that? What the hell is going on? These guys are like time travellers. I don't so, know what... So that got means... a gun. What the hell? That means they must have sped over five times as much, right? Yeah. So they yeah, must have yeah. gone about, I don't know, 400 miles an hour, right? <laughs> yeah. And never stopped. Never stopped. Just never, never stopped. stopped. Just never didn't stop. Never had a stop. wee. Didn't have a shit. Didn't have a you shit. Didn't have any food. Didn't have anything. But Nathan, could have drunk Nathan, Nathan while we were just driving, just so. shit out the window. Just we <laughs> okay. haven't got time. <laughs> just pissing the ball. What's the matter with you? And you know the, the weird thing is that there's no reason for them to lie about the time. There's like what? Well, well, they didn't even have to put anything. They could have just like they're in Syria. We're in Syria now. They could have just yeah. said three days later, which is like yeah, a more realistic thing. Yeah, it's just the weirdest it just thing. It makes no like, sense. As already, I'm like. What? 20 hours later? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. No, because I think um, they put, I, I'm not sure, but I think they put 20 hours specifically, not, not the next hours? day. I, knew it, I thought so it was something like that's, the following that's day That's what set me off, because I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 hours? How far is like, Syria what? from... Are you having a laugh? Are you having a laugh? I think it's funny that we both picked up on It's so like stupid. Because uh, I was just like, what the hell is going on? I wrote, I wrote down here, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of Sully going, I'll wait down here. You do the thing. Yeah, yeah. You do with the stuff, and I'll <laughs> just wait here. You do the thing. Well, he is old. We've just oh, pointed here, so out. If they come at guy. you, I'll run away, and that well, way they won't I'm, catch I'm, both of us. I'm 38 now, and my knees are already going, so I don't know how yeah. Nathan feels. Um, uh, can we just say, anyway, Syria. 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 Can I just say, Let's I get love... serious about Syria. When you when you get Let's to get the serious. museum, stroke, castle, whatever the hell, fort, whatever the hell that is, yeah. it looks amazing. It does look very good. It yeah. fucking looks brilliant. The looks moonlight, great. the yeah. shadows, everything just looks frigging... It reminded me, right, years and years and years ago, we went to uh, Rhodes on holiday. Oh, yeah. And in Rhodes Old Town, there's a there's a castle of St. John or something like that. Yeah. Uh, it was made by the sort of crusading knights or something when they, <sighs> when they were doing all that stuff. And it reminded me so much of that. When yeah. we arrived, we arrived at some uh, god stupid hour in the morning because it was a cheap flight and we got there about four o'clock in the morning. And they have all like light sconces on all the all the walls of the it's like a walled city like York, but it's all fairly intact to be fair. Uh, and they have light sconces all the way along, and this just reminded me of that. The, yeah. You know, like quite atmospheric, it really cool looking place. It looks good. Yeah, really um, like this section of the game, by the way. I ran, I ran into a trope. Yeah, I love this section, but I ran into one of these yeah. tropes in the, you know, in a video game where you're on a ledge and you pull somebody off the ledge and they die. Oh, but yeah, I, yeah. but I was only like five foot high. Oh, and he's still dead. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Um, but it does feel like a museum as well, by the way. It does feel like a tourist attraction somewhere you go and yeah. look around. And I, and I like that about There's, it as well. Because this is the section because you do bump into Jason Statham and, and Yeah, Chloe. you come across Chloe and, and Jason and again. And there was a section where all three of them were just battering one guy. They were yeah. just like battering him. Like there wasn't He's like, a horrible guy, dude. What do you They wasn't to shooting do? him or anything. They were like just fucking <laughs> kicking him in. <laughs> and I was like, oh, right, okay, I don't have to do anything. And they yeah, killed him. your anger somehow. Uh, I had a funny bit where there's a section on this on this level where you, you're... Uh, remember that game Dark Void, Stu? Remember that game? I do, right? I do. Where you're sort of on a on the surface of a wall and you're shooting upwards, right? Yes, by the, by there, the is, way, there have, is where you're climbing. I have no yeah, idea yeah. how Drake reloads with one hand, but never mind. Um, hey, it's because he's fucking amazing. He's, right, so you're shooting upwards and these guys yeah. just kept on walk into the same position at the top of the tower, getting shot and then falling off, right? So that so there must have been a guy behind that guy going, oh, that looks like a good idea. I'll do that. A, and then looks over and then dies and falls off again. Can I ask a question, though? Why, right, here's a good question. Why the 50%, at least 50% of the baddies look like Mr. Smith? They all look but, like, yeah. Also have sunglasses on they're at just, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why have they got sunglasses on while they shoot? How can they see to even shoot I at you? My sunglasses. I, I, nice. I think that's in, a good tune. Good tune, that by the way. In the staff, <laughs> in the staff room for these henchmen, they all go. Oh, wow, these sunglasses look so cool. I'm not taking these off. But why are you doing suits, though? I mean, it's the most impractical thing to be doing combat in. Because you got to take care of the And they've got to tie. I mean, it's like these guys are more worried about how fashionable they look. Right. Well, yeah, you yeah. forget, well, you you. Fashionable, man. They're, they're, all, they're all part-time henchmen, part-time snooker referees. All of them. And that's what they look. It's just, a, when you think about it, it's a really weird choice of design for baddies. It's almost like, well... 
the lung london gangsters so they should have suits on i reckon let's put them all in black yeah. suits and red ties i don't know it's there is just there is a i think the, the start of this mission i've come across somebody and the voice acted of one of the henchmen he's like who's that and it was so bad like it was yeah, like yeah. they got like the cleaner to do it in the, the, the in naughty dog it's like you can you do a london accent yeah can you just do a who's, line who's that? <laughs> um really bad there was a moment in this chapter though that i hated Stu. okay hated when the they're, they're sort of looking to to, to can to, i just say just a minute I'm just, I'm just looking at this section of the game and i didn't notice this until now they've got the torches though the flashlights if you're an american on attached to the shoulders on a suit yeah. what the hell are they attached to it's it's the new suits what's it is uh, it velcro not, i mean what, what have is you not, that, have what you is not that seen the new suits to? with the velcro on the side it's all the <laughs> rage know. you I don't know. It's just a, when you look at some That's of how the kids stuff, are wearing it these days. Well, this dude here, he's got sunglasses on. He's got sunglasses on I in the dark. It's just sunglasses. mental. It's like, what is going on? Stu, but, they look cool. Oh, That's what matters. Yeah, well, maybe. But if you were designing this game and someone's like, oh, there's this nighttime scene where they're in this like really Put them in sunglasses. Castle. Put them in some, Surely <laughs> someone in the design team should have yeah. gone, no, I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, but that's when it's, um, it's, it's night time. Do, do you think they'll be wearing sunglasses? That's at when night? Neil Druckmann, Duke's mate, went. No, put them in fucking sunglasses yeah, now. Fucking sunglasses. <laughs> no. Uh, but it, it, it does beg a belief. You you, you just watch it. I'm just you know what? But I never noticed game. when I was playing the game though. No, but <laughs> I, 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 did, I noticed oh, it now. It. Yeah, I noticed it now. <laughs> But well, I never noticed I when I played. It it. I just went, "What? Well, I'm um, in the Matrix." Um, and also, right, here's another question. Here's another question, right? Hey, how many London gangsters are there? There's loads. Because <laughs> you've, I've killed hundreds so far. It's like, where do these guys keep coming from? Where it must hey, have like an shoot, army shoot. of London gangsters in suits. Shoot, There's, times are tough. It's a, it's a cost of living crisis, and you get whatever oh. work you can. You okay. Must do. Must See some of these guys. Some of these guys were stacking shells in Aldi last week, and now they're in. I, I think it's interesting how <laughs> and individually and snooker dressed. Matching. Yeah, individually dressed, you all are, but yeah. everyone else is in generic. Well, suit. you know, it's, it's yeah. Um, so even the, the, even the baddie bad guys. Oh in right, suit. they they all look the same. Right. They, they, so, <laughs> so, that, so but why are they in a suit though? But why are they in a suit with sunglasses? I tell you why. why. It's because they had a bulk order on suits and they needed to get rid of them. And they're all sponsored, so that's why they're going to wear the Ray-Bans, okay? Um, there's a bit in this chapter, for fuck's sake, Stu, that I did not okay. like. Right. Do not like. Did not right, like. Okay. The main bad guy, um, yeah. let's just call him bad guy man. Right? John. John. Carter. Isn't he something Carter? Let's just call him... I don't know. The, the, the it's bad some generic man. thing. Yeah, there, John yeah, the yeah. fucking twat, right? So Baptist. Th- yeah, so <laughs> he... Like, you're looking to solve this like puzzle on a wall... And he just pops up round the corner. Oh, right? yeah, that's and he, right. And he that's accosts right. Jason Statham. No. no, he doesn't. He shoots him with a dart. Well, yeah, he doesn't... shoots him with a dart. He goes up yeah. to him, and, and this dart sort of sends him, like, gives loses his Jedi. ability to, 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 to like, like... a Jedi. Yeah, like, like to, 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 to he doesn't have any free will anymore. And he's like, hand me the thing. And he's like... <gasps> and I will he's, have you, he's, he's, he's trying to fight <laughs> against it. And he's like... Oh. And so this was his plan, was to wait for Jason Statham to be separated on his from, own on, on his, his own. own by the way they're not miles away they're literally like no. round the corner around the corner they're right just... and, uh, and then he's like give me that and then he's got him and then they all see him and then jason statham is like oh i'm, I'm fucked up oh. and and the bad guy gets away by the way disappears in like thin air Look, because there's yeah, no there's no pathway. Backwards. He walks backwards. There's no pathway. They look around the corner. It's just a wall, right? So w- what is going on there? And then you go down this sort of cave with trippy Jason Statham. Yeah, you have you a do. full on brawl Fight with, with him. him, and then Sully's Cla- about to shoot him in the face. Yeah, don't Chloe. About that. Chloe goes, "Oh, it's it's Nathan. It, don't don't don't." And he's like, "Oh yeah," and then he's back to normal. Yeah, it's yeah. so stupid. Well, the drugs had worn off. The drugs had worn off. I know, off but like, point. have you seen somebody have a hangover? Do you think somebody gets over that that, that quick? I like, no, it's it was so weird. What is this experimental drug he used though? That's what I want to know. But I just thought that was the weird. Look, if you want to give him a drug and he's like tripping out and all that sort of stuff, but for him to recover so quickly and yeah. to for him to like 
get the medallion. Like his plan was to get the medallion when like yeah. he's just three meters away from the rest of the crew. Looks so strange. It's so crap. It was, and it was kind of funny as well because he go as he's walking away, he's going, "Don't trust Nathan." Yeah, Gray. yeah, don't trust him. <laughs> trust and, this baby. So, to, which is which don't is coming from a guy him. who just shot you in the fucking neck with a dart. <laughs> oh, and now it Nathan. looks like. Um, Jason Statham and Sully are, uh, are not going to get on, doesn't it? Because he's like, you know, you go first. Well, but- after he threatens to shoot. But let's be honest, right? He was about to kill Nathan Drake. So what choice did what he have? What's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's about to kill the hero of the game. He can't just let him get killed, can he? So then, look, towards the end of this chapter, you sort of you sort of jump off a thing, don't you? Um, and Charlie gets stuck on there. Because the, the rubble's gone oh, away. Oh yeah, because it all collapses. It all collapses. So then, then the Helen... oh, by the way, we we forgot to mention about him feigning that he's still under control as well. So he feigns still being under control of the drug and points his gun at Nathan, etc. And then uh, Carter or the fuck his name is going, just shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, yeah. shoot him. Oh yeah, that's it. He fakes it, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he, he fakes does... it, feigns it. He pretends he's still under the yeah, influence, but he isn't really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then he shoots him. I like that. That was good. Yeah. I like that, that bit. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. he sh- he shoots him, and he lives, doesn't he? He does. He lives. He, so he's do got we a think bulletproof he... vest on, presumably. John the bad guy. Is he sort of some sort of supernatural thing? No, no. I think he's just got a, a bulletproof vest on. Because because he disappeared in thin air, and they even yeah, say like, where did he go? Where the fuck did he go? Where did he go? And um. Yeah, so maybe. He's... Oh, and then oh, by the way, Helen Mirren turns up. We've Helen Mirren. That. So no, no, I was just going to mention yeah, that. Helen so you, st- Hel- you, you stuck on Charlie's stuck on the thing. You've all jumped off. He's stuck on a tower. Yeah. But John the bad guy turns up. Helen Mirren turns up yeah. and goes, "Right, we're going to kill you. We're not going to shoot you, even though every yeah, one of yeah, us." Yeah, we've has all got, got gun. guns. We could just shoot you in the head. Get I'm it gonna, all over I'm gonna nice and quick. Throw some petrol up. Good job these two lads had petrol cans because that would have looked stupid. Yeah, where the hell did they get <laughs> right. those from? Where On top of a tower. I just had them, man. Right. Nice questions. And then she lights a match and goes, "Let's and just drag burn it around him. just in case." And like, I'm, I was, I was thinking before he did it, I was like, "Just jump off, just, just give it a go." Like, what's the? And he does. Now's and he the bre- time. Go for it. He breaks his leg, and yeah, he does. And I'm just like, why did they try and burn it? Why didn't they just shoot the shit out shoot of him? Shoot him in the head. So, I, don't so I think what what started what what annoys me is. Is obviously I know why they didn't shoot him and they tried to burn him because they want the character to get away. But yeah, it was, as soon as dead. as soon as they start doing things that go, that just looks stupid. Like, well, it's even it, like it, to be fair, right? Annoying. They're all they're all trapped on a wooden ledge underneath the tower. They could have just picked them all off. They could have yeah. just shot them yeah. all. It's just it's when 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 the story starts to when the characters start to do yeah. things that you don't it becomes buy into. a bit not not believable. Yeah. It's just not believable. And you, uh, there's, a, there's a, a couple of instances of that. You've so got to far. suspend your disbelief. And a I think bit. in Uncharted Two and even in One, I don't think there were many moments like that where I was like, you know, oh, I mean, I there were, fan, know, that, there that were was... fantastical moments where you were like, wow, that's impressive. If he could do that in real life, but. It, it kind of always made sense to an extent. You yeah, know? I mean, you were never like, Ooh, it was kind that's... of, you know, in Austin Powers always like made fun of the Bond movies of like, okay, I'm going to leave you here and I'm going to tell yeah. you all my plans and I'm going to put you on this pl- slow moving platform and hope that you die without yeah. me watching. And it's like, in the first two games, there wasn't a lot of that, and it does feel like there's a bit of that now. But I think some of that's down to the fact they wanted to have all these like set pieces because obviously the second <sighs> game was so well regarded. They were like, how can we top that stuff? So they have to have yeah. all these action set pieces, you know, with yeah. all this crazy stuff going on. But I'm guessing at some point they, they weren't able to justify why they were happening. So it's kind yeah. of like, well, we'll just do this and it'll be fine. No one by will the, notice. By the way, oh, I don't remember a fucking single thing about this game other than one scene that's not, that was I, not played. I remember some of it. I, I, know, I know the section sure we've just played. Where, where I, I, rem- I remember the bit where you come out of a plane, which we haven't done yet. No, I remember I remember the, the start where you're, you're, in, the snakes. you're in a pub. Right? I remember that. Yeah. I don't fucking remember anything else about this game. Anything. No. It's just all a blur. And... Yeah, I mean it's good. Like I'm enjoying it, yeah. but I don't really remember any of it. Two the had big, a lot. The real more question though is, does it all up? Does it all up? But we haven't finished yeah. yet. There's still Ooh. a little bit more to talk about. So yeah, yeah you was, but... you escaped from the Syrian castle eventually with the yeah. other half of the medallion. Yep. 
So you have the other half of the medallion and then you put them together and you know what, because you do this big puzzle with light and stuff where you've got to move all this and get all this water to move and light all these lanterns up and all that crazy stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then you realize you've got to go to Yemen. So Bloody like Chandler Yemen. Bing, like Chandler Bing from Friends, you've got to go to Yemen. And who's in Yemen? Uh... Thingy, Clo uh, not Clo Elena. 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 Elena Fisher. Elena. Now, can I just say, you get to Yemen and she gives you press passes so that you can obviously yeah. get around. Yeah. And I've got to say this, man. It looks like she's had some really bad plastic surgery. I she does look different. She does look different. I don't know what's going yeah, yeah, on with yeah. her face. Well, like, maybe she has. Has she been to see some doctor in LA or <laughs> something? Has. You know, yeah. like that's a really yeah, bad maybe, work done. Maybe she has. Yeah. And it's not great. Her face looks just fucking yeah. weird. It does. It does I quite... did notice actually. Yeah, it does look weird this time. Yeah. In the first game, she was quite pretty and natural looking. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In the second game, she looked a little Maybe. bit. This Maybe. game, I don't know what's going on because Chloe looks the same. It's like they've fucking gone. Ah, let's. Maybe. Make look Maybe really there's weird. a sub story where she's just ad addicted to cosmetic surgery. I don't know. That we don't know just... about. Her eyes look all wonky and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Well, like, what's going on with her? What's happened weird. to her character model? I, the, the, what I liked That's about because um, you arrive in uh, Yemen and you go to hug Elena and she says, "Oh, you can't hug me here." Um, but yeah. but men because because it's not appropriate to show affection in yeah in Arabic countries in Arabic countries to, to towards towards women in public yeah in yeah public. but but um and I know that this is true because um, yeah yeah yo, totally uh, no but like, like the, 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 no but like the bit that. where um she says but men can hold hands and um Marsh told me that when he went to Iraq when because he was in the RAF mm. men were holding hands all the time. He says, he says, like, yeah, all, men just kept on holding hands all the time, but you could never hold the hand of a woman or anything like that. And I was like, really? It's like, I'm, it's, you know, it's sort of bizarre. I never heard of it before when he when he told me, like, that was probably about 15 years ago, yeah. maybe 20 years ago, actually. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then I really liked the bit when uh, Nathan and Sully go to hold hands or Nathan holds Sully's hand. Yeah, and I really like, liked that. It's, but it. That feels like, that. that's like a... That's why this game is great because that feels like Nolan North yeah, made that up the on the spot, and they put and, the, yeah. and they put it in and they left it in, and it's the first sort of inkling of like, yeah, the actors would probably come up with. That. I mean, I don't know for sure, but it felt yeah, like it was just like a right. perfect I mean, moment. But let's be honest, these guys, these guys lived these characters for so oh, yeah. many years, didn't yeah. they? And they get they, they built up this camaraderie really good, between yeah. themselves, and um, it's it's very good. I mean, the, you cannot fault the acting in the game. You know, the acting is just great. So do we, I think, it sort of implied that Nathan and Elena got married and then broke up. Doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, she's still you still wearing the wedding ring. Yeah, though, but they they broke up. We don't really know why. Yeah, they did. And the theme of the game. Well, because he was it because he was shagging Chloe. We know why he broke up. No, but he was shagging Chloe before he was with Elena though. Because at the end of two, he's he's all lovey dovey with. Anyway, I, he doesn't. Yeah. Maybe um, he asked. To, maybe he offered to do a threesome. Yeah, maybe, probably. Maybe that with happened. Sully. She was like, I don't think so. Um, but the theme of the game seems to be like. Nathan, why are you doing this? Because that comes up a lot, doesn't it? It's like, yeah, yeah, why it's like, are you doing this? It's not worth. It's not your worth life it. Or... And it's it it. And I know there's a there's a Uncharted Four, and I know that there I, is an Uncharted Four, uh, which you've never played. Have I've you? never, you've played, never played. No, but like, never but but it. but it does feel like the start of why are you going to so much why length to just but, prove something? But, but a lot. she she facilitates it she enables him to do it no but it's not 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 just her though sully and chloe they yeah, all question it. yeah they all question everybody him. facilitates him they all go yeah here's some press passes and then you can get to where you need but, to go but even, even before that though, before, before that though like like I, I'm, I'm sure there's a scene where they're like why why like wh what have you got to prove like and yeah, then sully's yeah. like uh you know I'm, I'm still with you i'll just he's kind of there I'm because in. It's I'm kind totally of, in. He's kind of in because he's like, well, I've always stuck with you, so why not? You know, but he's not really buying into it either. So it does start to have a no. I like the theme of like, yeah, why, yeah. why are you fucking bothering? Like, what are you doing? Like, you've got money, you've got a little bank account. What are you doing? Um, so we're on chapter ten. Chapter ten. Yeah, we are. Yeah. I'm, I'm like it. I'm, and does it hold up? Does it hold up? Uh, so far, definitely, so good. So, definitely for for me so far. Yep. I've forgotten how much fun this game was because we all remember two, and I think that's two, the yeah. thing. We all yeah. remember two, but yeah. 
you kind of forgot about this one, but it's it's a quality game. These yeah. games are quality. But the, 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 the big standout moment that was marketed in Uncharted Three was when you fall out of that pie, wasn't it? That 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 yeah. is like the. And but then we had a play. Was it in two where we have a plane moment as well? Is it in two uh, where you end up yeah, with you the plane stuck out. in the tree? There's a tree it's stuck in your tree on an island, isn't it? The plane. Is that one or two? I think that's one. I think it might be two. Is it no, that's one? one? That was one. Is that one? Yeah, yeah that's because that's no. This cool is as no. Well. The, the 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 standout mark mar- moment that they used in all the marketing was you fall out of the back of a plane and you're hanging on to cargo. Yeah, Drake's on a plane. Oh, yeah. I do remember yeah. that. Yeah, and that is so iconic that they actually use that in the movie with Tom Holland. That that that's in the movie. See, I've never seen the movie. Never well, we're seen gonna it. watch the movie, Stu. Spoilers. Oh, we do we're this gonna watch I'm... the movie because I've never seen the movie. No, we're gonna no, watch them. I've got a whole plan, Stu. We're gonna. Watch nice. the movie together. Watch it happens, Stu. I like I'm gonna it. watch the I movie like. together. Um, I like that. So yeah, we'll do that. But uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to that bit. I remember that bit. That's the only really big thing I remember. But so far, yes. Okay, let's move on, shall we, Stu? We've okay, talked about it. Let's enough. move on. We've yeah. talked about it enough. Uh, we've got one more thing to talk about, I believe, which is Crime Scene Cleaner Prologue. Now, which full Duke confession. Sent. I downloaded it, just, it. Just... it. I didn't have time to play it. But what what I'll say is, I saw the video on Steam. And I'm really, really sad that I didn't get time to play it because it looks fucking brilliant. It, it so kinda... for those who don't yeah. know, Go on. Uh, uh, Power Wash Simulator is a game where you get hired to clean up playgrounds and lots of other things that are dirty. This game is Power Wash Simulator, but it's a crime scene and there's bodies everywhere and there's a dude tortured in the basement and you yeah, have to there is. <laughs> remove the body and clean up the blood. It's very well made too. Can I just say it's got some humor as well? There's some humor in it. It does because, have some humor, yeah. Because it, I cleaned all the pool area, did all that, sorted yep. all that shit out, went upstairs, and there's a woman spread eagled hanging over the balcony, right? Yep. Opened the door, she fell off, and then made a whole shitload more mess around the pool area. And I'm like, for God's yeah. sake, I've That's just cleaned funny. all that. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. I've cleaned it all. Yeah. And it's, it's good because like, like what, she, what she doesn't fall oh bollocks <laughs> yeah right as soon as um yeah when you move you, you you fill a tub with water you put detergent in it you use it to scrub up and yeah. then when you move the tub like there's blood where you moved it and it's like okay i gotta clean that up too. and you've also got so to be it's... careful with a mop because if you don't rinse it out enough then you just start spreading blood everywhere again you know like oh my god yeah right uh but yeah it's, um yeah it's but no it's simplistic. great it's, it's, it's cool. really well done it's uh it, you know it scratches exactly the same itch as uh and wow. i was a little nervous at first because it, when, tr- scooping up a bunch of trash you have to hold i don't know about it as on the keyboard but or on the controller but on the mouse and keyboard you have to like click and drag through each of the pieces you're cleaning up yeah. whereas yeah. in uh, house flipper it just automatically cleans up more well, than to one be piece fair, i was going to say there's some house flipper in here as well because you've got to clear up all the rubbish as well and then right. pull all the exactly. furniture back to where it was originally yeah, right. and but it's, it's good and because you get rid of the you get sort of... close to where the furniture was and then it basically yeah. like okay it it goes well, from red to like tan right. yeah, exactly. yeah yeah and, it clicks and it you've in. got to get rid it's of very satisfying in that cctv footage as well so yep. there's more wow. to it and the, so... the thing that bugs me was i was doing this last night and then it was like time to eat dinner and so i had to leave but there's no saving in the prologue so i got about uh, halfway through this that. bloody house scene and I, I i had to just start you know if i was going to play it again i start over but i'm like i'll get it when it comes out yeah. do you know I that's kind of just say that's a great thing about steam deck because it just suspends your game where you are and you can just okay we're not talking steam about deck. steam deck but i didn't I'll, know you had a steam deck i um yeah. i totally I, I i was totally sold on this on the video i was like oh man yeah, this yeah. looks great you're basically that character from pulp fiction that has to clean yeah you are that's yeah. exactly yeah. what yeah. i thought yeah. of it's yeah. so I good it. but it's like you know it's all themed around like you, there's a crime scene you're not look like, for people I, I thought you were like the police you know what I mean? And then I watched the video. Dude, I was like, "Oh no, no, not. you're you're like nope. part of you're you're the underground. You're this the is, underworld. Yeah, you're yeah. the underworld, man. Yeah, you're yeah. getting rid of shit. This is great. Unfortunately, That's even the better. release date is 2024. It doesn't say when 2024, but it's just. Uh, at some point. But there is yeah, a thing I'm, on Steam that says, uh, "Ask to be in the play test." And so I clicked on, let me be in the play test. So we'll see. Yeah. This is crazy. Steam says, this game is similar to games you've played. Fallout 4 and GTA 5. It no, it's like really that. not like it those like games. GTA what are you talking 5. about? It is like GTA 5. Uh, yeah. Quick question, quick <laughs> question. Like will, there, will there be multiplayer? Can you be a team of cleaners going yeah. into these? Why not? I don't see why not. I mean, if they have that in... Um, 
Power Wash Simulator. I love that. I love the uh, team uh, Laura ready Croft to be a team one, of players. Oh, as soon as I saw it, yeah. I was like, oh, you can, you can get rid of dead bodies. And oh, I was like, yes, yeah, this can. is perfect. The dead bodies, what's quite interesting, when you pick up a dead body, it tells you how they were killed. Oh, so you pick a dead and it's like shot multiple yeah, times yeah. in the back or whatever, or stabbed in the face or whatever I wish, it is. I wish the game went further and you, you have to drive them, you have to mulch the bodies up. And, uh, <laughs> well, you may do. Where I didn't like finish it. Fargo, put them in the woodshed. Maybe you do yeah. because, you put them, because you put them in your... your van to your get truck, rid of in yeah. body bags so it doesn't tell i've not got as far as driving so away so funny. whether you have I to think then once you're disposed. done you're done i i don't think they bother i mean they made a little home where your home base is yeah. and then yeah. they made the crime scene i can't imagine they made is there a timer on the level because that I mean, would spoil nope. it i think not on no, this one no, but they're no, in the in the video uh promo it does say like you know they have a, a scenario where they're showing like you the cops are going to be here any minute now so oh, don't okay. take more than 10 minutes or whatever right. so i think some levels will have that but right. this the demo doesn't and i hope that I, there's not much because i was going to say just real quick the other game i played this week is in shroud the only thing i have to say about it is i realize how frustrating it is to have the timer in in shrouded because you can only spend six minutes in the shroud um that's so stressful to me. And I think it's partially because my job is like every second, I'm like, the bell's gonna ring soon, the bell's gonna ring soon. So mm. um, it's very, fr I, I hope that timer thing isn't a big part of crime scene cleaner. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's great. The only thing I would say is I, I cleaned all of the pool area. There was no blood anywhere I could see, but it still only said 88% done. So I'm like, mm. I, do, I have no idea whether well, I'll be calling it does you, have that thing. you up when I murder someone. It's because you suck at video games. Um, yeah, that's true. But it's it. There is a thing where it'll you can push a button. It's queued by default on the keyboard. I don't know about the controller, but yeah, it'll because... like it'll show you where it is. And it's also like sometimes underneath stuff. So like you have to move stuff around and like yeah, there's, I couldn't there's see a big anymore. area I did, look, the pool, I did so. look everywhere, yeah. but I couldn't find any more. So mm -hmm. I don't know. But other than that, mm -hmm. I thought it was really really good. I liked it. I like the yeah. the way you have to. I do like it, although I'm not 100 sold on it. The fact that you have to keep on recharging the the power washer and all that kind of stuff while you're doing it. But yeah. it was it was yeah, fine. It wasn't I mean, that big a deal. It breaks it up a little bit and it makes it more realistic, I suppose. But yeah, yeah I was using the bucket and the mop. And, and I like yeah, I like again the humor with the video yeah. game. A lot you get killed if you play video games, and he's sort of yeah, sat right, there in the middle of a game, shot in the face. Um. Yeah. But yeah, I thought it was really good. I really like this dude. Good recommendation. Yeah, I was yeah. impressed. Yeah, what, what? Very impressed. Yeah, thumbs looks up, good. baby. Looks good. I'll give it a go. I'll if give it a go for next week. Assume Chini gives it a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give it a go next week. Yeah, I will be amazed yeah. if Chini doesn't give this a thumbs What's up. What's our play my game bitch well, for next week? Do we know? Uh, there is something new out actually. Oh, oh. there's a few games on. Yeah, Xbox there's a few game games. Uh, there is super super Ooh, hot how Evil West. That looks really good. Yeah. Uh, super hot mind control delete has been added this week. I've played that. It's just a new super hot game. Oh, is that a new super well, hot new game? Oh, okay. Well, it's newish. It came out after the original. Ooh, one. Ark is a new game. And, and there is an EA Sports PGA Tour game, a golf game. We Ooh. haven't played one of those in There's a long time. There's also an Annapurna game called Open Roads. That looks like Stu's Yeah, that was, a, that was the one I mentioned last week. And in, in, so there's Open oh, Roads. Yeah. We could try that. I was that. voting no on that. You voted uh, no on it. There's also a little Gator game, which I played the demo of, which was pretty fun. Well, what are we going to do? Open, so it, game. Here we go. Open roads or golf. What is it going to be? Well, I've got golf. Golf? Yeah, let's play golf. golf. Let's play golf then. See the new golf game. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Uh, by Masters, the way, the, join us. Uh, the Ark game is the new one, isn't it? It's Survival Ascended. So it's a brand new Ark survival game. Oh, yeah. Well, I've heard it's got very bad reviews on Steam. Oh, well, I don't know why. I've never played one and I'm not particularly bothered about it. So. Yep. There you go. Right. Uh, right. Is it time for some emails okay. and stuff? Sure. I think it's time for some emails. Oh, email. Whoa. That ruled. Okay. The one and only. So one and only email, people. Just saying. Uh, the one and only email we have this week is from Jason. Oh, uh, and he says this, a long cosmic noise. A long cosmic noise. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the moon blocks the sun for four minutes and every space yeah. tourist decides to come to Texas, uh, which has... <laughs> Which has a forecast of full cloud cover. By the way, can we just say, I don't know whether you're aware of this, Duke, uh, but they've declared a state of emergency at Niagara Falls. Did you know this? 
Yeah, I saw that because they don't want people accidentally wandering over the edge when they're well, staring they at the sky. Well, they're also expecting a million people to, to be there sure. on the, the eclipse, which is, yeah. can we just say, to get 40 million people a year visiting. So it's kind of a whole month's worth of people in one day. Sure. Or just uh, just under that, just under a whole month's worth in one day mm -hmm. they're expecting. So it's a lot yeah. of fucking people. A lot of people are coming. There's a lot of fucking people. Uh, but Texas, which has a forecast of full cloud cover, tornadoes, and hailstones. Oh. Fucking twats. I don't think he wants these people coming. <laughs> just saying. Yes, no. Uh, we all know this event is either the rapture or melancholia, so they are coming to the Holy Land. Uh, so, Jude, what do you get? Do you get about sort of three quarters of an eclipse or just over that? What do you I getting? don't think we're going to get to see much of it at all. No, no, you, I, I think you really get, I think attention. you get nearly a full one. I don't, it's just not quite okay. full. I think mm. you get, I had a look, mm. I had a look at Wisconsin and I think it's nearly a full mm. one. So you'll be close, no, close to full, know. but not quite totality. Um, just sleep. It's a big deal. We have the first human telekinesis. I guess it didn't make your news because the cyber human only played chess, civilization and Mario Kart with his mind as the controller. Uh, if it were a car soccer, you would have mentioned it. It's probably true. If it had been Rocket League you were playing, it would have definitely been mentioned. Yeah, Rocket League. Now you got my attention. Uh, Duke, in an ontologically, yes. God bloody, ontologically correct <laughs> metaphysical description of cryptic biblical metaphor, Christ almighty, okay. uh, with Ken Levine's games, could you announce the meaning behind Rapture, a living, breathing world underwater? Judas, not the betrayer of Christ, but the avatar in space that destroys all humans, and what Ken describes as the magnificent of Great Three, a family of AI robots, the Trinity. Or did you not watch the Judas preview? No, no, I didn't watch it. I don't I, know about I you. I didn't watch it. Um, no. I can, I mean, for me, Rapture is about megalomania and a desire to not pay taxes. Uh, it's Ayn Rand gone amok. So that's that's my take on the ontological concept of rapture. I don't know if that's what he's looking for, but that's God my knows, take on it. I, I do think, right, Ken Levine takes himself a bit too seriously, is, is what I well, think. Well, you know, if you're going to be an artiste, you got to take yourself a certain amount of seriousness. Yes, right? I guess. But, you know, it's a video game. It's a bloody video game at the end of the day. He's going to shoot people in the face. Who knows? Yep. Uh, hey, hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Uh, Epic hey, Games Epic Games are monetizing gamer creations in Fortnite with their new Lego content. Lego sure. and the player will split the profits. Players get paid to create worlds. Imagine that. All of your simulation mm -hmm. theorists, why would you need to create worlds? Uh, Sam Altman, the AI guy, says movies are going to become video games and video games are going to become something unimaginably better. Oh, God, this Maybe. is why I don't know what the hell I'm reading here. It's like I've gone into some metaphysical email night. He's off on a, he's off on a, I mean, this is wow. what we should, we should start calling these things Gullahers because they're not even just tangents. Like yeah. they're loosely connected, we, meandering, curvy trains of thought. Yeah. Uh, no really shit. Off on a no shit, Sherlock. Go end this, go back to ending this world. Uh, Stu Pan. Uh, the moon landing was real. Stanley Kubrick filmed it in during total, total eclipse. It was too dark to see. At that very moment, nobody could poo. Could they physically not poo or just could they not see to wipe because their whole world shut down? Maybe they pooed hey. earlier in effort not to miss the experience. I don't know. But people to this day swear they couldn't go number two during the moon landing. What? <laughs> What does oh, that mean? Hey, at some point he had to go number two. God lord. Uh it's the end of the world as we know it. Sing it chitty whilst going number two, and I feel fine. I don't know what to say anymore. I That's don't... great. It starts as an earthquake. Oh, uh, it's the end of the world as we yeah. know it. There you go. Uh right. In that case, I think we have got flowers. Uh, one speak pie from our bestest friend. So let's go. Speak pie! It's the way to leave and an eye on the Listen at your own risk. Warning, so. warning, warning. I was going to say, let's hope it makes more sense than the Jason Gollum. Yeah, here. let's knows. hope. Here we go. Here we go.
Hey, better gamers, it's St. Diesel back again. I played that little clip for two reasons. Uh, next week, I'm going to give you a movie quiz. It's Ooh. going to be based on yes. the official soundtracks of movies, which I own on Ooh. either CD or vinyl. Okay. I think I've got okay. maybe 30 to 40 official soundtracks based mainly nice. on uh, trips to charity shops over the last 10 years or so. Ooh. I'm not usually collective soundtracks, but if you see them cheap in a charity shop, uh, I'll always think about picking them up. And all I'm going to do is give you the year the movie came out and some of the stars of the movie. All you, all you need to do is guess the name, and simple as that. But the question right. I have to do with music is, on YouTube, I think it's still a bit confusing about their policy because you talk often about not playing music clips on your podcast because you might get taken down by YouTube. Mm. But when I look at YouTube, there doesn't seem to be any real restriction on that because there's multiple albums on there, radio shows, live concerts, stuff that's been on mm. there for years that haven't been taken down. So I just wonder, do you really know the music policy of YouTube or is it just a case of making sure that you're safe and don't get taken down? I'm, I'm not really sure on that. But we'll finish with a bit more from Mr. Williams. Great Britain recognize the island state of Singapore. How do you recognize now? You go, hey, wait, no, don't tell me. Wait, wait. Didn't we meet last year at the Feynman Bar Mitzvah? You look. Right. Just to clarify, it's more about if you use somebody else's content. So it tends to be more if you use somebody else's like video they've created on your video. So it tends to be more like that. Am I right, Chinny? Rather than yeah. you can use some music, but, but what also there's happens... different rules for everything. So like yeah. one one thing might be like, oh, you you'll just get like a uh, um, you can't mon what, monetize, like, which yeah, is fine. Or they'll get the money from or, it. Or you, right. you might get this can absolutely not be fucking shown on YouTube at all. You fucking piece of shit, and it'll yeah. get blocked. Yeah. Or you'll get. Um, you can show this in Europe, but you can't show this in America. Or you can show this in America, mm. but you can't show this in Germany. Or, you know, something yeah. weird. So it's like, let's just play. If you keep the rule clear of let's just not do that, then it's yeah, easy right. and simple. It's very, right. it's and a lot very of it's, gray. It's a very gray area. A lot of it's like, uh, it, it's gray to us because we're not lawyers who are parsing all the different legal jurisdictions and stuff but the other thing is that it's you know a lot of it is covered you know monitored by robots so if they can recognize if they can't you know if they if if you played music that i made no robot's going to know that because it's not popular at all right the algorithms are tracking certain kinds of music that's more popular so you know it's all kill switch click money Nintendo yeah, is is the money. worst culprit. Nintendo used to be, used to be. Yeah, it's not, not anymore. as bad now, but no. it, it was terrible. It was, it was like, like nothing. So that's it. So so it's just yeah. it's just so simple it. to say we won't play anything, and then you, yeah, yeah right. you, you're Save covering you, you're covering yourself if you don't play anything. But you know, I'll say this about your question, Diesel. Like, I'm very glad that certain albums are on YouTube because. You know, when I made the switch over to digital stuff, I got rid of a lot of albums and I wish I hadn't because they were on Spotify when I made the switch and then they got taken off. Like two thirds of my comedy library just vanished one day and it sucks. So there are some that are on YouTube so I can listen to them there. And uh, it is weird, right? Because there's loads, MP3s out of them if I was... there's loads of DJs who do mixes and put them on YouTube and don't seem to have any issues at all. I tried to upload a mix right. that I'd done when I first set up my account on there as DJ yeah. No Clue, and it was instantly blocked. And I don't know what the how they get away with it, and I, it just wouldn't even let me upload it. It was just like, nah, not happening. So I don't know. I, it's very weird. Because like you say, there it's is all sorts arbitrary. of music on there, but the, yeah, the, I, I don't know why it wouldn't let me upload a mix. It made no mm -hmm. sense whatsoever. Mm -hmm. so yeah. We go. don't know either, Diesel. That's the answer. And Twitch. Twitch doesn't let you upload any music like i can stream live i get a massive warning at the end telling me that i shouldn't have been playing copyrighted music and stuff uh and warning, the, video, warning, warning. the video itself is almost completely blank so there's no sound on most of the twitch videos uh mm -hmm. for for the any of the mixes that i've done there i said they're totally blank That's my purse. i don't know you yeah so i don't know it's weird stuff but i only do one a year now on twitch so i don't tend to get in trouble so much Yes. Okay. Is there anything oh, on Discord? Go. Or are we ready to do shout outs and move on? Uh, I have no idea. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, there's got a shop on Discord. I now. did tell them. Oh, there is. Mm. Uh, here we go. 
Uh, yeah, give us the questions. You've got that. And there is one. There's one question yeah, off Tainted Brain. And he says, uh, do any of you listen to music podcasts? Uh, no, I'm going to nope. update a package on my phone to stream music. Sorry, Stu, can't be listening to Mixcloud while I'm out and about. Uh, so I've been listening to people's mixes that have been released as podcasts. Thanks all. So no. No, I don't. Uh, I Not do, me, but I have, sorry, hang on one second, Stu. I have been really getting into Taylor Swift this week. Like I decided, you know what? I haven't listened to Beyonce very much. I haven't listened to Taylor Swift. I'm going to make it my mission to actually listen to their yeah. albums. And I picked, I started with Taylor Swift's Reputation album for some reason. And that's clearly the album that she made that's closest to me and my tastes. Because it's like a lot of electronic music and stuff. And it's like, it's banging I, it's a good album man i'm really into that so sorry go ahead Stu. you were gonna say uh, i do i listen to well i used to listen to a couple i used to listen to um glitter box uh on on the old podcast and it's it, it's not really a podcast it's literally a dj mixing music for an hour uh so i used to listen to glitter box quite a lot uh but i am listening to one that i've only started listening to lately cut by crossfader which is called uh off the record uh, and it's, it's three DJs basically just talking about DJ stuff. So of how they got started, what they did, what equipment they use, you know, what. And then they give like music recommendations and stuff. And it's, they're quite funny guys. Real DJs are for old people. Uh, they're quite funny guys. So that, so I've been listening to them recently. They're about an hour long. And they've always got something interesting to say because they've been in the industry for quite a long time. Like one of them has been DJing for over 20 years. Uh, and they just talk about stuff and you get questions off the forum, off like the Discord about like DJ stuff. Like one of these, this was the best one. Can I just say this was brilliant? Um, but a, a listener wrote in that they'd hired a DJ to DJ the wedding, right? Yeah. And then they gave him a like a playlist or a list of songs they wanted including in it, like in the set on the night. You know, this is what I want you to play. Which is kind of normal. He was he was charging about five hundred quid to do the DJ for the night, and then because they'd chosen music he didn't normally play, he then charged them extra for all the extra tracks wow. that they wanted. And the, and, the, and the question was, is that is that normal? Would that be correct? And they were like, absolutely not. Hell <laughs> yeah. no. Hell no. Unusual music surcharge. Yeah, exactly um so yeah that was kind of a, a kind of an interesting uh thing that happened and then there was another one last week which was kind of cool as well where a guy had been djing like as a resident in a club but they had locals and college students coming in so they'd have college students and the locals mm -hmm. would come in later and he, he played some rap and stuff and some hip-hop and mm -hmm. it one night it all kicked off and there was a massive fight and the management oh, the management blamed him for playing hip hop that incited uh, of the, course hip hop the, made me do it the patrons to fight each other so he, like, so he ended up getting the blame for it by the management and he's like again should i just give up the residency yeah. should i just tell them to go screw themselves etc so it's kind of like that so there's, there's all sorts of cool stuff yeah. so yeah off the record i only i only fight right. during salsa music yeah exactly exactly <laughs> Uh, it about, tends to be the sound uh, of music for me, to be honest. Spanish language rapper. Yeah. For soul, they do rapping in Spanish. Mm. So there you go. All right. Uh, so that's it. We're ready to do some shout outs then. It's Let's time for a shout out. out. Hey! Uh, well, I'm going to shout out Chinny because he's back. Hey. He's back. He's back. back. He's back. He's back. Oh, uh, go on. Sorry, you can and, and I was just going to say Ben for covering last week while you weren't here because you were up in Manchester. Mm. Manchester. Hey, so there you go. Chinny. Over to you. We have a new Patreon. Woohoo! Oh, we haven't had one of Patreon. those in a while. Thank you, Patreon. We have, actually. Yeah, thank we've you. had one. We? Yeah, well, we've had a few. Give us some money! Uh, have you a... updated the sheet? Have you put the new people on? No. Nah. See, but not there, you see. Bet you didn't. <laughs> Don't look at that fucking sheet. Are you mad? Yeah, exactly. I've already moved on. Um, Yeah, so we've got a new Patreon. Since January, we've had... We've had about three, 75 Patreons. Three, three people. Um, oh, that's quite impressive. That so the, the, the new one is uh, Lee Griggs. Aww. Thanks, Lee. Shout out to Lee thanks, Lee. Griggs. Th thanks for being a loyal. He's a loyal tier. There's elite and loyal. Uh, veteran um, and then uh, Tid uh, USD. 
I think, and Seth okay. McNitt now qualify for their T-shirts, so they'll Woo! get. Oh, uh, yeah. They'll be getting a um, massage. Eventually, can we eventually. just say a T-shirt? Can eventually? I just say that everybody has their T-shirts now? See people, people messaging yeah, when people messaging when they don't have them, but they don't message him when they do have them, do they? Um, <laughs> so Did we have a lot of people messaging when they didn't have them. I think we had one or two messages. Yeah, well, that's enough. Um, <laughs> no, but everybody's got their T-shirts now. So uh, Ricey and right. Rainy Lamb were the last two that I sent out. They were very happy with yeah. them. Um, so yeah, Tid, Tids, and Seth McNick now qualify for a T-shirt. So I'll be messaging them. So shout out to them and shout out to Ben last week for helping out. Thank you. Yay. Okay, oh Duke, over to you. I will shout out the Snicker Man. Here comes the Snicker Man. Yeah, shut up, kid. And also shout out uh, everybody in the chat, Ian and Tainted Brain and um, James Bevan and Soul Brother Number One and Tyrone Price. And uh, yeah, everybody who listens, uh, wherever you are around the world, we appreciate you. And uh, shout out to the Duchess because she's going to make some matzo ball soup tonight for dinner. And I really like matzo ball soup. And yeah, shout out to um, the baby goats that we got because they're very cute. And they're getting nice. their horn buds. They got horns coming in now already. So watch out for that. They're going to be bumping each other uh, on the head soon. Before we go, I have got a question for you two guys. Oh, yeah. I have a question. Ooh, a question. it's time for egg timer topics. It's not, no. It's not. So I'm going to do, for the first time ever, I've never done one of these before, but I'm going to do a drum and bass mix. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I wanted a, a suggestion off you two for a drum and bass track that I need to include in the mix. Omni Trio, um, uh, Living for the Future. Or wait, is oh, that the one, Living for the Future? How the hell do you spell that? Om... O-M-N-I-T-R-I-O, that's Omni Trio. And hang on a second, it's either track two or track five. Uh, Through the Vibe five. is one of them. Oh, I've got it on these two words, Omni Trio. Omni, Omni trio. trio, yes, exactly. Yeah. And what's it called? Hello, iTunes. Uh, do through the vibe. I think that's the one. Right, it's not on there. Oops. Through the vibe. Yeah, through the vibe. Uh, and Chinny, what about you? Um, I don't know. Just an easy one, like uh, Badadam. Oh, I've already got that on the list, so I'll be it's doing an easy that. Easy anyway. one, isn't it? Um, yeah. So uh... I've already got that. I've already got that down. I've got it down. Uh, through the vibe. Oh, here you go. Through the vibe. Through the vibe. Two on one mix. I've got. Oh, uh, it's just called Through the Vibe on this album. Oh, well, it's two on one mix. I'm guessing 1994 that okay. came out. So we'll uh, go. Yeah. So we'll do that one. I'll add that one in. It's not as quite as okay. high a BPM as most drum and bass, to be fair. Oh, mm. it's, it's fucking ill, man. I'll tell you what. 158 BPM. That's a bit, it's a bit Can slow. Can I play it for him, Chini, or is it going to get struck? Struck. And I won't play it. Just That's okay. great. Just listen. I put it's it on the way. It goes nuts the with vibe. the. It goes nuts with the things. I, I like the fact it's something I've not heard of. So thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Chini, have you thought of anything? D bridge, true romance. D D bridged. D bridge, true romance. Is it just a letter D and oh yeah, D bridge? I found it. And true romance is a VIP original mix. There you go. Sure. We'll go with that one. <laughs> so there you yeah. go. Yeah. Oh, that's that's pretty fast. It's pretty fair. BPM is <laughs> BPM only tells you so much, man. There's there's other well, things. Well, most the most are, are 80, <laughs> most of them are eighty nine D and D and B tracks. So eighty nine. So yeah. They Double jump it. up in a fever when Double a it. hype step in the arena. You. Yeah. All right. Are we done? Go. I think so. I, we've got that I sorted. Okay. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Thanks for listening, everybody. All right, show's over. No refunds. You heard the robot. Get out.
What else did you want to discuss? There you go. Uh, by the way, Chinny, by the way, Chinny, my hair is so long now, I've got a headband in. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to the headband stage. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's just in my what's face. The, what's the plan for the hair? I don't know. I said to Kay, I think I'm going to get it long enough because I've never had it long enough to tie back, right? Why? And then when, it's long, when it's long enough to tie back, I'm going to get it cut. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get it cut when it's long enough That's to tie like, back. I don't know. No, have like... a man bun. Like I'm, you... I'm very close, by the way. Just I'll take the heads off, then you can see. But it's it's very close. Oh yeah, it is very long, isn't it? It's oh god. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Uh, his face looks like a butt. He can't hear us. <laughs> but it's, it's, still... it's very close. Look, it's so close. I don't know. I don't know. He sort of looks like a yes. sort of sweaty Keanu Reeves. Know, Hi, Stu. I've had a shower, by the no, way. I had a shower great. before we started the show, great. so it's still a bit yeah. damp, weirdly. It's sweaty and but gorgeous. You can see how long it is at the back there. It's You're making all our there. listeners sweaty. Mm. So, yeah, it's getting there, Chini. It's getting there. It's weird that, like, another... you're going to get to the point where you can tie it back. You're going to get to I the point. Have... You're going to get to the point where you can tie it back and then cut it. It's almost like running a yeah, marathon man. and not getting the medal. Do you know what I mean? It's like well, what I'm going to do, no, what I'm thinking of doing, right, is when it's long enough to tie back, I'm I'm mm. just going to have it tied it up at the back. So I'll have it still long at the set, you know, top and side. Shade everything except for the and braid. Just, yeah, and just sort of a bit shaved up at the back, you know, just tied it up. So I'm not so going to get it completely cut short again. What does, what does Kay think? Up. She likes it long. She likes it long. Mm. What does Millie think? Millie thinks I look like an idiot, but you know, mm. kids are kids. Is any what haircut going to change that? To be mm. honest, true, true. Mm. But do you know what? Do, do you know what Peter's I think? Hate me. Do you know what I think? When you've got a hair like mine at my age, you've got to make the celebrate most. Celebrate it. You've got to celebrate, celebrate it. it. You've got to make the most. I I know uh, people yeah. younger than me that are bald. I know, and I've had lots of That's compliments. Pathetic. Can I just say, people are like, "Oh, I really like your hair long." I, don't care. I shave really my head suits, every week. It's it really suits you. When long. did when did you go bald? What age? Duke. Um, I don't. I don't even know to be honest. Like probably forty. Oh, really? Like right. it, but but I I was shaving my head. I've been shaving my head consistently since I was about twenty five. So like, yeah. it. I told my hair just don't bother, and it just said, "Okay, fine." <laughs> it got off. the memo. <laughs> yeah, and to be fair, right, and even now I've only got a little bit of grey here in the front. Yeah. And a tiny bit here at like at the top of my sideburns. I have a little bit. It gets but us all, Stu. That, it gets I know, us all. It'll get me eventually, I know. It'll it will. get you. But I'm I'm doing Natural. pretty well. I reckon I'm doing pretty well at my age not to have much grey hair yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? To be fifty two nearly and not really have much in the 52. way of grey. Fifty two. Fifty two. I can't old. believe I'm that's I don't feel 52. I don't okay. feel 52. 52 is old, though, isn't it? It is. It it's is proper it is. old, isn't it? It is, but it isn't. It's not it 48, is, is it? it? It's not 48. Yeah, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Um, I still find it hard to believe I'm in my 50s, quite I, I forget that you're in your 50s. I forget that. I know. I'm like, I'm talking to a 50-year-old man here. I know, I know. It's hard to believe, <sighs> isn't it, really? Um, because I certainly don't feel 50. And, and I don't think I look particularly 50. I saw, can I do, well, I've already said this, haven't I? I saw fucking, what's his face, who played Daniel 007. Craig. And he looked fucking ancient. Yeah. And he's about four years older than me, if that, three or four years older. And I'm yeah. like, he looks like an old man. Yeah, he but you haven't, like you, are, you haven't man. had to film like five Bond films. Like no, yes. but he looked like an old man. And then I saw someone else today and I'm like, God, they look old. And they're not that much different to me. And I'm like, God, you look old. Yeah. And maybe I just look old and don't realize it. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. But I'm I don't just think like, it's a problem to look old myself. Eh? Mm. Well... Who wants as, to look as, old? No as, one wants to look old. As my why, wife, why is it a problem to look old? As my well, wife, as my wife look says, look my wife says, every birthday is a blessing. So that's every right. Day every day is a blessing, man. Can every day, yeah, you, you absolutely you agree. Waking up in the morning is a blessing. Up about how you Can look. Yeah. Waking yeah. up in the morning. Anyway, see you later, yeah. you old fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have a good and week. You got no you work, bastards. I'm guessing. You got no work, have you? So you Yeah. Like, That's you... why you look so young, is because you don't have to work ever. Yeah. You just take weeks off, go to York. Uh, no, only work four Wander days a to week. Spain. Only work four days a yeah. week. Yeah. See, there you go. Go wherever I'm like. Can you go on a plane now? Rosy cheek. Yeah, I can go. I have no issues going on a plane. It's, it's just a bloody cost of uh, travel insurance. Although, yeah, but if you wait long enough, you'll get a pensioner ticket, right? Well, maybe. Like a week or something? Maybe. <laughs> what what might happen though to be fair uh to be fair i've no longer got cardiomyopathy 
So it actually means insurance might go down in price. It might not be quite. Yeah, but expensive. you've got to declare it though, haven't you? Like no, no, but I don't know. But one of the things when you do your travel insurance, it, it asks you, do you have cardiomyopathy? Which obviously. But doesn't it say, like, cost. do you have any history of heart failure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. I'll still have to declare that I've had heart failure. Um, but I don't. Or you can just say memory failure and then be like, I don't know what else. I've <laughs> but, I <don't> <laughs> to, but I don't have to. But I don't have to tick the cardiomyopathy box anymore. So because that's yeah. got it's an expensive box. When, when your heart muscle becomes enlarged, well, mine's back to normal size now, so I haven't got that anymore. Mm. Um, How long ago was it, now, Stu? Was it two years? Uh, ago? No, it'd be two years in September. Two years in September, two, August, September time. Half. So, yeah, about 18 months. Mm. Uh, so it feels like a hell of a lot longer, to be fair. Mm. Uh, but it was weird. The world, when I was having my um, echocardiogram done this morning, she was doing it. And it was, it was kind of interesting. So there was a woman doing the scan and then a guy writing the report at the same time. So they oh, yeah. were kind of doing it as they went Is along. Is this the NHS? So they overworked? You, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's how it worked. Double team. Uh, yeah. She was very chatty. She, 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 first thing she said, she says, uh, so have you been seeing June 2 yet? <laughs> So it's this little woman. <laughs> okay. like, no, I've like, had some problems with my heart, so I haven't been able to go to the said, theater. She said, oh, yeah, well, I went and watched it last night. What did you think? I'm like, oh, it was really good. So we were just chatting while she was doing it. And then as we were doing it, he said, um, yeah, yeah, well, lost reports. It was uh, less than 25% like this, right? And he's obviously looking at what she's doing. And she's like, yeah, yeah, that's uh, no, that's, that's quite a good impression. So, like, you watching, big brother? So there was uh, like, chatting away. And you could see that. Coronation like, Street. He's trying to be like, all right, look at the results of this test. And she's like, oh, Carnation Street last week. I couldn't believe yeah. it. But you Shut could... the fuck up, woman. I'm trying to talk you about You ever seen a grown stuff. man naked? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> but no, you, Turkish could, prison? you could tell he was a little surprised at the, the improvement from the last report they had. Yeah, we get it. Every week, some new medical professional is just blown away by how amazing your body miracle. is. I'm a miracle. I'm a miracle. You're a miracle uh, of science. But yeah, it's kind of, but then I said to her, no, I have had, had an echo in between, and that was came I out at 40, 40 so much percent. I've had a, I had an MRI which said 51%. She, and she's she, like, she won't yeah. settle until... His face is next to the word medical marvel. I am a medical marvel. <laughs> I feel right. like I am. Oxford I am English a, Dictionary. I am. Put it in under M. I'm officially an anomaly. But yeah. no, so to be fair, she yes. went, did you have a, was it caused by a virus? This only affects people under 50 and you're not, or clearly yeah. not under, <laughs> wait a minute, you're 52? Yeah. What? Oh my <laughs> yeah. God, what? Uh, no, she said, that, she said, was it caused by a virus? And I said, it wasn't caused by a virus. I said, but I did have COVID three weeks before I was at my work. So it was. So it was enhanced. It was enhanced it by been, COVID. It it's COVID like adjacent. It yeah. uh, but it's, it's because it's a genetic uh, mm. problem. It's in my family. It's a pathogenic gene, which is yeah. great. I haven't got anybody in my family called Jeanette, so it doesn't really yeah. matter for me. Or Gene. Yeah. I think what pisses me off the most, and I said this okay, to. is the fact that there would have been nothing I could have done to say. I don't think it would have happened this soon, maybe. I think I probably would have had a few more years before anything happened, but... There would have been nothing I could have done to stop it. You know, if this was like the eighties, you 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 might have been dead. No, I did, to be fair, Jeannie, I'd have been dead in the early two thousands. Mm. It's it's only probably in the last five or six years where they've got really good at treating it. Such a shame. Huh? Yeah. So yeah. early two thousands, I wouldn't Damn. have been. No, for the people the in the noughties, not. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the problem is, like... it's a been shame great. that, it's a shame that it wasn't twenty years ago. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Uh, because like we're the, glad you're still with us, buddy. Uh, two of the drugs that I'm on only came out in the last two years, so two of the drugs I'm taking. Drugs are great. Two, two uh, of the drugs recent. I'm on are ketamine and crack. Uh, very recent. They mix well together, and I stick the Valium. Crack will really hype you up. I, st I stick and well, to, the Valium up my you, arse for the cum now. Uh, oh, to be yeah. honest with you, the, the biggest props have to go out to the cardiac nurses I've had. They've been brilliant. Yeah. Uh, so All the right. one, they're the ones that meddle with your medication. So the, the consultant. They, they, they what? They, they're the ones who decide what you take. They fiddle with it. Yeah, so they fiddle with it, yeah. what they call it is they optimize this, your treatment. Yeah. They optimize the your treatment. With it. Yeah. Uh, but the, yeah. the consultants are rubbish. They don't do anything. Yeah. Uh, oh, that, that actually, I tell a lie. The the consultants are black people, may beta blockers, but most of the stuff's been done by the uh, by the, the, the cardiac nurses. They've I was taking beta amazing. blockers at one point. Yeah, for headaches. For migraines, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're taking for, for migraines. But like, yeah. like regular migraines. I, I, yeah, I used yeah. to get like blurry vision. And, yeah. Uh, I, I, my, and then the doctor was like, 
I've had people that basically can't feel the left side of their body because of a migraine. Yeah, like, oh, Oof, yeah. Fuck. yeah um, Millie took beta blockers for her migraines for a while. Yeah. Horrible. Abdul Jabbar once said that his migraines were so bad it felt like an alien was coming out through his eyeballs. Yeah, yeah, that just, was a very just good description weird. there. I could, me. I could like, it had a tiny bit of blurry vision in the middle, and then it would spread out to the edges of my yeah. eyes. And then when that finished, migraine. So I wouldn't yeah, have the migraine I've when had, I've got that yeah, thing. Yeah, weird. yeah, yeah. You knew it was on its way. I've yeah. had two, two what I would say were proper migraines in my life, and that <laughs> mine was like that, but sparkles. Mm. So it like sparkly, like a bit in the middle where migraine. you could see. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, maybe. A bit in the middle where you could see, and then the outsides were all sparkly. Gay were all like weird. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. gay. It was a gay, gay grain. Uh, yeah, gay My grain. Gay. Yeah. And then the same thing happened. So that disappeared, and then suddenly it hit you like someone had hit you on the head with a hammer. Yeah, not fun. Uh, but I've only had that, that twice in my life, so I've only had that. I had, I had a series of them. I had like just yeah. months and months and months of these. And then I probably touch wood, last one I had was about a year ago, and it's just yeah. stopped. And the doctor, and the, doc- health. <laughs> the doctor's response was like, well, that's the way it is. And I'm like, all right, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Said, You're lucky they're not worse. Go get out of my yeah. office and quit complaining, bitch. Why have you yeah. got your trousers yeah, on? This it's is just a mean a mi- doctor. It's just a migraine. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm just, you get know. your pants off. Jerry Seinfeld had a bit about that. <sighs> it's my head. Take your pants off. Yeah. How about you take your pants off, Doc? <laughs> um. Anyway. And there Rose go. is good. Rose is, yeah. She's uh, she keeps seeing um, Tara's posts on growing. Instagram. She's growing she's is what she's doing. Six months yesterday. Wow, they grow fast. Six six of October, so six of April yesterday. She's six whoops. Months. Why didn't I put that away? Um, yeah, she's uh, we've been giving her food. Oh yeah, that's always fun. What? Food. She's way too young for so food. Let me no, ask no, you, you, you start the weaning process. No, you process. don't like pure pure. She didn't have photosynthesis powers yet. Pure no. red carrots and stuff so, like that. So I'm joking. I know she's got food. Yes. Tara, Tara's it's got a book. Food, so it starts the weaning process. So she, she doesn't necessarily eat it. She more plays with it and experiences taste. Yeah. Sure. And, yeah. Um, yeah. So the first thing we Often did. Osmosis through the side of the cheek. The first thing we did was broccoli. Uh, yeah. And, and she did. Uh, oh, what's the, what's. Oh, God. So what is it? The, the begins with Turnips? a s- no it's a avocados very phallic uh Cashews? Oh, what an aubergine Cucumber? not an aubergine not quite cause yet cause yet yes cause yet cause yet so we did some cause yet baby corgi um and then today it was avocado i went avocado she's a bit posh isn't yeah. it a bit posh um but it's I noticed, I noticed by Mexican drug gangs. in a poo today that there was some broccoli in it. I was like, oh, it's going <laughs> through because, the, so because she that's done, what you has want. She done, has she done the face? Has she, oh, she yeah, 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 everything? yeah. Or is yeah. she not, she's not fussy. Is she fussy then? She's, but she's not really eating. Do you know what I mean? She's sort no, of no, like. No, no, has she done the like, no, yeah. thank you. Yeah, she's Definitely done the face, not. but she, I think avocado has been the best hit, but most of the time, like in a poo today, the broccoli was there, so she's taking yeah. it in. Yeah, yeah, so, so she's eating it. But the but the idea of the book says like it, she's not necessarily going to eat for for like a like a meal or anything. She's just gonna no. You just want to basically here, start the process of her being, and you don't want to give her anything sweet because she'll naturally like sweet stuff anyway because she's yeah, a definitely. child. So you want to to get, eat everything that's bitter. So peaches, like, peaches are good because they're really soft. So really so soft yeah, peaches. it's just it's just. Every d- so what we're trying to do now is eat in front of her as well because yeah, the, the yeah. book talks about how like oh um she she basically will copy that everything is. we do so we're eating our food every day in front of her our breakfast our, our dinner so that she start playing video games like next week yeah I mean we like with <laughs> Millie when she, when we would eat like we clean up the crime scenes <laughs> from as early an age as six months where I was reading a book to her at bedtime and stuff like oh that. yeah I've, I've read a book to Rosa, Rosa yeah, read, read I think the, the, the second week. I read a yeah. book to her, yeah. yeah. We were, well, yeah, I think it was Prime probably earlier than that. Earlier than that, but we used to carry crash, like whatever you do. I used to tell her what I was doing, you know, like yeah, yeah. You just, but not in a baby voice, you yeah. know, just sort of say, right, we're walking up the stairs or whatever, well, you yeah. know. And then, oh, that's and then it. it. Like I'm, 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 we've got this chair that she sits in in the kitchen, and I'm, you know, I make a tea, and I'm like, oh, making a tea, just the, yeah, you know, you know yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. It's and just the constant. The quicker they talk, you know, because they listen. They comprehend stuff. Be tweeting before with they some white talking. supremacists. So yeah, they, uh, 
they, they comprehend stuff you're sooner than they can that. actually talk themselves can communicate which she's already i put the snooker on she says switch this fucking shit off you know yeah, so she's just, really getting into this it. is the snooker this but is she's very she's really very cute it. she's getting louder she screams she <laughs> you know <laughs> she'll laugh um she reaches like really well and grabs yeah, stuff yeah. and i feel like she's got good dexterity so, like she can already like She's got like a spoon and she wants to eat the other end of the spoon. She'll work out how to move it over. Turn it round, yeah, yeah. So yeah, she's coming on a tree. Problem solving. Yeah, stuff. that yeah. sounds good. She's, sounds yeah, good. She's, oh, very good. she's she's cute. Well, very I will cute. definitely we'll have to come down and see you at some point. Yeah, yeah. Because we've not welcome. seen her in the flesh. We and you haven't seen, seen this house. I'm not seeing your house. I'm no. not seeing you. Duke, I'm not you seen coming Tara down? For a you long time. Down? Duke, you coming down? Uh, maybe at some point. Oh, yeah. by the way, um, we, uh, Fraser. He's coming to London. Oh. oh. So he said, would that be something we could do where we could meet up with everybody? I'd love to meet Fraser again. So, so let me know the date. So I think it's around June. He's going to let me know. Okay. So I said, I'll be there, but I can't vouch for everyone else, but I'll be there. So we next week we'll... We'll announce it properly, I suppose. Let me know the actual date. And we I'll don't. I don't know. He doesn't know. He's working it out basically. Yeah. So, yeah. But so maybe we could find like a gaming thing down there, Stu. Meet down there. Because I am on. I am on the holiday. Working. Just a minute. I will tell you when I am on the holiday in June. Oh, right, well, y'all can sort out these dates. I'm gonna okay. bounce. Have a good week, y'all. Bye, Duke. Bye, Duke. Let me look if I can bloody remember. I'll find out. I'll I'll text yeah. you and let you know when I'm off. But oh, I'm the off, only I thing think, I've got is a uh, the last week. Of, I think I'm off the last week of June. First week in July, I'm off. Yeah. So maybe maybe we could do like a meet up down yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, I'm away in July. First week of July, but I'm at home in June, so yeah. I'm not going anywhere <sighs> at the end of June. So depending on when it is, you never know. It might coincide. You never know. The gods might be be looking down and go, "Yeah, oh, let's uh, coordinate all this shit." Cool. Sounds good. All right, mate. All right. I will leave you to it. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking about a meetup, by the way. I know. Yeah, we'll They're do like, it. When's it happening? And I'm yeah. like, uh, but no matter yeah. where you meet, if we meet in London or whatever, no one's ever going to be happy. So it doesn't really matter. So like, No, no, but we, we should do one. We've not done one since yeah. before COVID. So but what I'm saying one. is this Fraser thing might be a good excuse to do one because we're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so let's let's see if we can do it. Cool. Okie dokie, mate. Right. I will leave you to it. See you later. See you. Bye. 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 bye.